It is so good. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Wait, is that a club? Club. She's alive! Club. 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 I came back from the club. 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 Sorry. Oh, careful. That could quickly become something inappropriate. What? Like what? You went clue club, and I was just like, that's too close to something else. Oh, yeah. Nope. Don't do that. How's everyone doing? Don't do that. They're problematic. I'm alive. This music is dope. I'm glad I clicked on this button. This soundtrack is called Jazz Club Question Mark. Me? I'm Jazzy. Me? I'm Jazzy. <laughs> I love that. What does that sound like? Uh, oh, and then it's over. Oh, okay, restart it. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It, has, it has a loop. It has a loop. We're good. Are you... Does your camera have a vignette, Nick? It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is perfect. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna mode. jump right into tonight's session, session forty nine, guys. Next week is the big five zero fifty sessions. Wow, um, last session. Last, yeah, last that's session. it. <laughs> we're gonna do a ten level level up Game at over. the end of tonight's episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna kick it over. Oh Dark man, that Red. sound that that, that track is so it's, short. It's wild. So oh, short. it lost you. Oh. Oh no, the vignette! <laughs> oh yeah, uh, you're just gonna have to return that. Uh, let's see, let's oh. see. Music through a door? From Club what? Flux? <laughs> Club? Oh, it's literally Club music Club. through a door. That's I'm hilarious. doing so many things. That's really funny. You're just so busy. Yeah. You were actually really putting out tracks like, last week, that's where you are. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing, time for us. I wasn't in Disneyland, I was just making a bunch of music. Oh hell yeah! Um, we're gonna we're gonna jump right in. Nick's got the recap. Whoa, this is this is such a this scary kind of filter. Sorry. This, this is, is, this filter. is really good. I'm, I'm not looking at the camera. Like I'm I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, I don't like it's, it. It's, it's, it's like it's like it's like a oh, fake eye tracking thing. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, I turn. I I I've beta you, tested you, you that before. You could do before. a James Bond intro. Just walk by. And just like, and just like, <laughs> I was I was trying to, but the, the camera would the, it cuts out when I when I walk out like that. I was trying that so hard. Believe me. <laughs> be like just, just imagine oh, blood imagine. comes down on your screen. Yeah. If I could like put like a. All right. What about what uh, this one? That one's that Times I wish I had a cardboard tube. Just like put that over my camera. Even if I had a straw. <laughs> the default went up again. Oh. The effect keeps on yeah. running when away. You turn it's so you're funny. Back to it, it's just like when it doesn't see your eyeballs, it runs away like immediately. It's so funny. Okay, recap. All right, recap time. Last Bring session, session forty-eight. Uh, at the start of it was over the span of three days. The first day, Nile left to go uh, avoid another Grolk incident and gave Kuno 2,500 gold to buy guns. Uh, on the second day, Sora and Al prepared for surgery with the help of Nurse Kuno, and surprisingly, Nico passes up on the chance to return Mork to their home world, but the surgery is successful um, with the new repairs being done to Mork's skull. We also learned that Mork was potentially a colonel, fought in many wars, and also, Soren tricks Nico into a handshake, allowing Katara's magic to take effect. Which now she just kind of like likes Kuno and Soren more than everyone else. <laughs> it was like a friendship bracelet, but the old emo mancers know how. Yeah. Mind yeah. control friendship bracelet. <laughs> On the third day, Moss and Amon go into search for magical items and make it to the Arcane Emporium, meeting a, a tiefling by the name of Daddius. I mean, Thaddeus. Uh, and leaving with some new magical items. Um, Soren and Aqua. Soren does a nice thing for Aqua, is what I just have the night note for that, and removes the curse of warp <laughs> absorbing it into his veins. Uh, they also share a heart to heart about their mom issues. True. Uh, and then in my notes, as Soren and Aqua to Electric Boogaloo, they go jewelers shopping as well to a hobby shop where they meet uh, the first of two League of Legends characters uh, in this session, uh, Serafina. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. 
And um, Aqua wishes uh, to make tokens of friendship for the remainder of the party. And Soren learns about the trader from the jungle who sells special thread. Uh, Nico and Kuno take a trip to the Ironclad Guild Hall where they hear about Master and Darian, who represents the guilds and is and caught in a potential situation where he may have to close the forges due to the oncoming war against the Unzel Republic. We also meet Thorin with a U, the Forge Master, not Thorin. Um, and he thinks Kuno's name is Kyle. Yeah. But he also helps us um, <laughs> begin, the, begin the, the planning phases of the multiple That's suits of Kyle. armor and weapons to be made from the shell. And he also makes, um, I forget the orcish word, but god killing swords, potentially, like the style of god killing swords. And Kuno purchases one in hopes of using it. Copyright. Uh, Soren also discusses Anywhere. selling our Moonstone and inquires about uh, weapons. We are pointed to the second League of Legends character, the Master at Arms, Garen. Um, and where we will be probably going this session. Soren also learns about Astoria's Star Scribe, who works at the Lore Vault and who he can do some more studying on curses. But the party eventually all meets up at the forge. Uh, but, but just before Moss and Amon get there, Nico slips away in search of a soothsayer to restore lost memories, meeting Sister Mirabelle of the Stoneheart Enclave, who worships Kayela. Uh, Nico s sees some past memories, uh, one of them being a meteor shower. And in the ending lines, as the scenes fade, we, l we see from the perspective of spies, uh, in the Enclave of the Hidden, looking over a ball of energy that observes Soren and Aqua, and leaving the line, The brother has returned, do not let him out of your sight, we will not make the same mistake twice. Jesus. <laughs> okay, how I'll leave for a day. Off? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's you, pretty good. You were gone for three days now. I was, I really, I had to go kill some trees real quick, you know. <laughs> so I'm back many in my hotel dead room. trees. I'm back. Oh, back. hey, welcome back. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Sorry, I've been gone for so long. <laughs> I got some, I got some takeout. Is that just the same picture, but a different angle? Yeah, it, might as well be. It's oh the God, same so room, so. different angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, same room, but a different angle. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's really yeah, good. Yeah, except Max is flipped. Uh oh. But yeah, oh. same thing. That's so funny. So good. That was that's pretty good recap. That was pretty much everyone. Everything. Oh, recap. I think I think. Um. Yeah, we're gonna start. That was a recap. That was. That was a recap. You know, that if was a I had recap. a nickel for every time there was a League of Legends character in a game that I had no idea, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. <laughs> Weird that it. I was gonna make. I was. I was gonna make a Tyler. joke that much like in League of Legends, Serafina was anything but mid. Um, but I don't <laughs> think anyone would have understood that except for Nick. I would have been. Kim. I would have left. I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty good. Kim's gonna be the mean mug, so I don't know. I got zero points there. <laughs> I know it's a good <laughs> joke, but it's a joke. <laughs> Kim, Kim you just blacklisted my... our show off of like. Yeah, so Riot's never going to sponsor us now. <laughs> yeah, that's like that a child. Rito, no. <laughs> Rito, no. Now no. everybody knows that you play League of Legends and, and Riot. Oh, no, no. We only play ARAMs because we're not good enough to even play normals. For <laughs> <A> real, man. <bad. laughs> we only play ARAMs. Um, we are going to start uh, with you, Niall. Especially because yeah. you have no idea what's been going on. Clueless. You <laughs> took uh, initiative on your own. Um, you know, the last couple places you've stopped at, uh, <laughs> your journey hasn't started too uh, nicely um, due to uh, your affliction. And so after getting settled, after getting off the boat, after collecting your reward, you uh you leave town at least for a few days i don't really have anything specific that i had you get up to while you were gone so niall what do you think 
you got up to in the last two and a half days. It's halfway through the third day, and you're making your way back to the city. Uh, I probably just did a lot of reflecting. Um, which is weird, because usually I don't think about my feelings or, like, you know, acknowledge them. But... Um, Same. <laughs> same bro oh uh, same bro um uh but i probably i joked about like killing trees but i probably didn't kill that much i probably was just you know the food that i need to live um just kind of considering like is there something i could do here to help my hometown or is anything that i do here would it be actively worse if I did anything? It's tough. Does Niall, at least initially, you guys have just begun exploring Bashir, and really you know nothing about the society besides the structure of these clans, and you know, no one has been mean or rude or hostile. And especially for a <laughs> child soldier. How is Niall coping with not having a blatant enemy? He just feels kind of lost because essentially his entire life from 14 to 21 was these guys are the enemy. I have to eliminate them if I want my hometown to be safe. And now he's just kind of presented with this fact like, oh yeah, they're also just kind of human beings. Not human beings, but you know. Living beings. That Mortals trying to survive, yeah. Have families, they have livelihoods. And it kind of makes him mad because a lot harder to kill things that you know have humanity. Yeah. It uh, certainly adds context. Um, and, and generally just the way, you know, I've always thought of it too, I think in this situation is also the contract you signed your life away to. Protecting your family oh, from... Gosh. Um, protecting your family from people who are trying to protect their family. Um, I think for Niall, the toughest part about this time away is that everybody leaves you alone, including Egtheron. There is no typical vision. There is no appearance that at least gives you something to be pissed off about. You are left to your devices. You're left to relax, whatever that means. And you're left to judge yourself it's a quiet few days and I think you Niall can take whatever you want from those three days in terms of rest in terms of relaxation in terms of peace inner and outer you arrive back no major event, no shudder in the night. You arrive back and city's waiting for you. There's nothing there's no premonition, there's no 
vision. There's no call to action. The first time in a long time in enemy territory, even. You get to just be Nile. And I don't want to say it for you, but I can only imagine how difficult that is. As Nile enters the city, midday on the 13th of Briskar, what does Nile do? Where does Nile go? Probably to try and at least touch base with the others, whether they're out shopping still or resting in our luxury apartment. You do sure. have a sending stone if you want. Do I? I thought oh, you yes. Had... We gave it to you. We, we gave, we it to you. We gave I... you one in NPC mode. Yeah. You yes. do okay. have one. Yeah. Just wanted to let um, So, yeah, I'll use it and be just see, like, I'm back. Where are you guys? Like, <laughs> oh my god, it's Nile. <gasps> well, you gotta say something. I don't are you okay? Just, just, just say <laughs> where we are. Bu just tell tell, tell him where we are. Aqua's holding the stone, so that's the first thing that Nile hears. <laughs> it's Nile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's all I get too. And I don't get to send another. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. At what? this point, everyone that Nico is back in the uh, the blacksmithy. So, Moss, you and uh, is it Moss who has the other one? Yeah. 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 Moss has the other sending stone, or did at least. Um, Moss, you <laughs> hear Niall say, "Where is everybody?" And then you hear Aqua go, it's Niall. And then that's it. That's all they get for a response. So you have the only currently functioning sending stone. <laughs> Hi, Niall. We're all shopping at the, uh, what district are we in? Oh, yeah. Like you, guys, you guys are still one. in the blacksmith. So you can even say that you're in the, uh, you're in, uh, uh, the Ironclad Guild, which is the uh, building. We're in the Ironclad Guild. It's a building. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a building. Thank you. <laughs> um, He's like stepping outside to look at it like it's a, it's a building. It's, it's a building. <laughs> <laughs> he, he describes the rudimentary appearance of this uh, building. Well, because if you hear like guild you're gonna think like it's a larger space so he had to like kind of clarify it's not just a single that's building a fair point. <laughs> it's funny the way you say it's a building it just so just matter. exactly it was great <laughs> it do be building it do be um, building though going for so long so yeah i'll try i'll try and locate this building okay <laughs> it's gonna take you a little bit um, I'm gonna say for that sake, uh, Nico is gonna arrive back at the shop before you do, but not by much. Um, Nico, on your way back, I think we had gotten you to the shop, but we're gonna rewind just, just a hair here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You went to that, not the sketchy part of town, but for, for your beliefs as an arcane practitioner the part of town you don't typically want to find yourself which is where all the the know-it-all priests find themselves you do see not so much a commotion um but like you lived in Flinkate. you would definitely know at least the direction that what's happening is going looks like people are like starting to like clean up the streets and like clear things away some of the shops are being asked to relocate their, you know, their patio sidewalk partitions to different areas so that the street is wider. It's hard to tell, but it looks like they're preparing for some sort of event, whether it's a parade, which happened in Flint Gate. Seemingly every week there was some deity or some arcane discovery that was paraded around. But you just get the kind of 
intuitive understanding that they're clearing space for something. And you hear chatter and you hear people talking about um, uh, next Fey Day, uh, which is Patria's equivalent oh. of a Saturday. Okay. Can I actively eavesdrop and see if I can kind of pick up on what, like, is it like something people are excited for? Is it like sure, a dour a, holiday? Uh, Get more information about it. One perception day off check. every week. Yeah. Yeah. It's the <laughs> one, one day. day the union could guarantee. <laughs> uh, Nat one for a three. Uh, you honestly start questioning whether you can understand what language they're speaking in. That's but true. also because they're speaking in Orkish, um, which I don't know if you know. I can't remember. No, I do not. No. So so they kind of they, they kind of do that thing where like they've worked with enough people who speak common that they kind of flip flop back and forth pretty aggressively between Orkish and common. And so you catch these little snippets of next fade a um, this like little little pieces here and there have to have it cleared by the middle of next week. Um, the Ardent is going to come through on on the morrow, like little little pieces of information, but nothing rigid that tells you exactly what's coming up. Um, I will say, just because you've lived in Flintgate long enough, you can give me a out of left field religion check if you'd like to try. Oh, oh yeah, this is I know all these things about I don't know the Iron Queen or something. Um, oh, way better. One moment. 22. 22 is going to do it. And there's a very particular reason why you know what holiday is coming up. It's because it has to do with the deity you are most interested in. At the end of next week is the annual Crimson Fall. A holiday, holiday dedicated to the god of death. It is typically... Mm. Um, also coinciding with the start of winter it is the 21st of briskar which is the uh the start of uh of that winter season and it is depending on the culture in flintgate what you picked up on it was it was really just a time for people to like basically a lot of people kind of uh group the cold weather with death just that uh, that association with like cold bodies and things like that over the years has kind of made people associate eros with the coming of the winter and the cold times which is a synonymous with the dark times and so people will pray and hope and and offer up gifts for eros to give them a calm mild winter at least in mm -hmm. flintgate you are not getting a somber impression from these goers about who are preparing for this event. Hmm. It's much more flavorful or exciting. Please, Father Eros, can you please make the winter <laughs> mild? Poppy Eros, please. Please, Daddy. Pause <laughs> No, not Pause Daddy Eros. No. Daddy Eros. Why? Daddy oh, Eros. <laughs> please don't Tim. punish me. <laughs> no. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to become friends with Eros, so I'll just dab him up and ask him to stop doing the winter. Just, just dab him up. Just I like this winter. plan. <laughs> just show it. him some riz. Yeah. Ooh. What a what a twenty charisma can do. <laughs> yes, I like this plan. <laughs> hey, look, I'm still trying to befriend Eros. Whether or not it's been successful, we'll only, <laughs> yeah, we only we we only have Morty to rely on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mortar, 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 Grass, Mortimer. As you're kind of like, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Nico, you arrive back at the Ironclad Guild. Uh, Niall, you are coming up the road. You see Nico kind of tuck into this building, and so you know that you're mm -hmm. you're you're going to the right place. Um, Nico, you kind of walk in, and just as you're kind of getting settled, you overhear the rest of your party kind of talking about other things that they might be purchasing. Um, Moss and Marsh kind of sharing, or Moss, Moss and Amon, sorry, uh, sharing Whoa. what they found at, uh, the yeah, Mar Marsh got into Patreon. <laughs> 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 he, they broke in. 
Um, Who is it? But uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, jump in, Niall, as you come back. Um, I have to be right Aqua? back like two minutes, so I'm going to let you guys okay. kind of talk and vamp, and I'll be right back. Aqua, I'm going to start with you when I get back, I promise. Oh, it doesn't have to be recapped. Here we go. Acted. Okay, I just, okay. for, yeah. Whoa, no. is that guy busking over there? Whoa. Look at that guy. He's just banging around on the chest plate. Whoa. What? Wait, is that Niall? <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, no, I you made it to the hug. blacksmith. You were able to find that it was in fact a building. Thank you for your very informative description, Moss. Hello, Aqua. I uh, like awkwardly hug back. Thank you. <laughs> I I like you back. Didn't spend it. Has anyone had any luck yeah, finding you. guns for Nile? I was going to, but I mean, mm. was yeah, just about to ask this. Man, oh, if you knew yeah. what guns were and how to upgrade them. Right. Well, we you have to wait a... like another minute and thirty seconds or something before we have to we go to Garen. Is it Garen, Nick? <laughs> yeah, Garen. Garen. Uh, yes, Garen's Garen. the master of arms. Yeah, uh, Garen. Is he the sort of Demacia. staring at the wall and not responding? <laughs> yeah, I'm also. Oh, also, have to uh, get new clothes. Uh, no, not this guy. Garen is the master of arms. This guy's not the master. Of arms. Look at these uh, cool. Okay. Look at this cool shit I got. I uh, found a book. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I pull out a book. It, uh, it, you take an hour reading it, you, you, you learn something about the world, and you feel inv invigorated. And watch this, and I'm gonna- <laughs> He was gonna say invigorated. I'm gonna go- Something about in the world. Invigorated. Uh, <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, um, uh, I'm gonna go over to uh, Kuno, uh, and I'm gonna be like, Andrew call him in the ear, and I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna flip a- I'm gonna flip up uh, a coin real quick. Uh, and what's your passive insight, Kuno? Not eight, one, eleven. <laughs> okay. One of those. Uh, eleven. I have to roll a sleight. I have to roll a sleight of hand. So complicated. Uh, I know, right? Uh, twelve on the die plus. What? Plus was one, it? so thirteen. <laughs> Minus one. No. Uh. Uh. Uh, you now make a wisdom saving throw, Kuno. You possessing him? <laughs> no, I'm uh, charming. 19. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> you use the coin, uh, you, and you it, forgot. You Kuno cannot be beaten on a save. <laughs> true. true. Uh, you, you just go watch check, this. If it's a check, it's okay. Yeah. But if it's a save, wow. Well. Uh, yeah. He has a you, plus fucking eight to his wisdom save. The coin, the coin literally flips in the air and then immediately Me falls too. on the ground. And you're aware that I tried to magically influence you with the coin. <laughs> uh, it, it's supposed what? to do more, but it seems like you, you're. You, you can try it again. I'll, 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 I'll let this work this time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I. I don't think I can do it to you again for the next like day. It's incredibly you know. magical. Yeah, right? I, can't, I can't. I can't I use it like again until dusk. Different spells. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun in my absence. Now, did you? I mean. Oh, now we can have fun in your presence. I mean, yeah. yeah. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> um, camping outside. I see. I see. You didn't get another one of your bounties, and that's why you've come back, right? No. Wait, he's listening. Okay. Shh, he's listening. <laughs> Is it? Look at the guy who's staring at the wall. <laughs> Is it, do you have to kill that guy? <laughs> no. No, wait. Shush, all of you. <laughs> we, we only finish? have like. 30 seconds left before he's probably going to come back. Oh, oh the voice has killed him. We can't speak. <laughs> hurry up and kill him. <laughs> Say hurry up and kill him. <laughs> Who are you killing? Have I just killed him instead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who are you killing? No. No one. No, no, no one. one. Oh, yeah. No one. No one. You got no one. Hello. Hello. Uh, we would like to do I, business I, with you, good sir. Do you have guns? I was listening the whole time, <laughs> you nerds. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're at the wrong place. I, all I'm gonna say before we hop back in is nothing was funnier to me than Amon trying to show off his new coin and it's just, just like, going, watch this. Watch this! And Kuno's just like, I don't understand. 
<laughs> like, what do they do it does. It's supposed to do a lot more. So is this a, is this a fade joke? Uh, yeah, it's just like some sort of weird magic trick. <laughs> it's like, yes, kind of. It's a prank. Um, I would get these cow tropes that are made out of fake glass. Oh, are they extra spiky? Um, let me read. The they explode. I think they pop and glitter. People cover people in glitter, and so Ooh. they can be tracked. Something Extremely fey. <laughs> yep. Um, I thought oh. it would be funny. You had a uh, question. Uh, I oh. realize I have a hammer, a war hammer. Yeah. Um, you sure oh, do. Oh, right. I just want it. <laughs> Holy shit. You've had this uh, thing forever. Yeah, well, not forever. Just eh, we've been swimming with it. <clears throat> I want to oh, see how like much a, I could sell. It's like a good Warhammer, too. Hold on. Yay. You, yeah, you it's not just an ordinary one, hammer. You just. It's a really plus just, one. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not good. Uh, for, I don't think it's good for Kuno. It's not really good for anyone in our party. So I'm like, fuck it. Sell it. Not unless someone wants to bop. Yeah, you could ask. Um, Kuno, Kuno has the dagger now, but. Uh, Kuno, da, 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 do you want this da, da. hammer? I'll keep it silent. <laughs> no. Kuno has decided he does not want to talk to Aqua anymore. Oh, I, I did not. I didn't hear you. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> do you want a plus Kuno, one hammer? Do you want this hammer? <laughs> That's even worse. The this, yeah. this silence. I'm sorry, but that was so funny. Kuno, I don't think Kuno will use this hammer. This hey, Kuno, hammer? do you want this hammer? And just silence. <laughs> I heard. I mean, no, it, it's I mean, okay. it's, a, it's a war hammer, right? It's a plus it's one a too. Hammer. Yeah, you and, oh, honestly, it might be good for if you don't want to use the Kelsing for anything. It might be good for you, Kuno, you know, because you can still use your shield with it. Yeah, but I just bought. It's, another it's still a plus. I mean, I'll, Wait, Kuno just I'll, bought a weapon. Oh, did you yeah. just buy another plus one or something? Well, okay, I also I've bought heard... my long. I also bought this long sword too. What? What's? <laughs> no, like, I'll carry any... five weapons on me. Did you buy a regular? Did you buy a regular long sword or a god killer long sword? Is there anything uh... special about this warhammer? Because if there isn't, then yeah, fuck it. Sucks. It's just technically magical because it's a plus one. It was. Where'd it was also it? found in an ancient. It was also found in an ancient undersea court. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's long been forgotten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you could you could give it as like an artifact. See if the 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 yeah. council will want it or something. Hmm. Well, maybe or let's see how much this blacksmith guy will sell. Yeah, it yeah, I'm, exactly. Because uh, they just I'm gave us a bunch of money. See if they give it. I don't think the council will give us more money. <laughs> they already yeah. have. Uh, yeah, sorry, give me a second here, guys. Plus he's got they said they don't have any more money to give us. <laughs> the council doesn't. Have, or the, the, the yeah. clans yeah. don't. Yeah. yeah, but this this guy. This guy's loaded. This guy. he's fucking, look at him. He's got money hanging out of his pockets. Look at this guy. Is this guy look screaming at this like, guy. <laughs> he's covered in No, drip. they just spent like 12,000 gold on this guy. <laughs> we found a, a blacksmith to make our turtle armor. Uh, Which, speaking oh, of, do you want turtle armor? As, as Tyler um, Depends how heavy it is. We're going to become the ninja turtle. It can be whatever you can turtle it, like, you want. Light or medium. Um, armor. What? Is there a light flavor? version? It's, uh, I think it's so. 1600 if you want light armor. Or no, mine's. It was half. Yours medium. medium Yours medium, yeah. Mine is half plate. What's your ace? What? I don't know. What is your ace? I can wear light right. armor now. <laughs> the is where is it? What the hell? Oh, you, you have a uh, you have a high deck, so you would want light armor. So I don't know if yeah you could have yeah. You would want light. Although you, you are proficient in heavy. I <laughs> am, but it would not benefit me. You just get a big. Just turn Wait. into a fucking tank. <laughs> just you just curl oh, around tank. with a shotgun. I have a, a you could, plate mail. <laughs> I have a plus one stud leather. Would that raise your AC? Uh, uh, no, maybe. Hold on, I'm pulling. Actually, it up right it's now. light armor because if they have a plus five, it'd be plus. They'd have plus eight to their AC, like overall with everything. Yeah, I have sixteen. Yeah, yeah that, AC that, right that would now. actually raise your AC by two just by using. I mean, uh, if you want to, then like you know. It, well, he's, this he's is only it, this is only if I decide I can afford it after I get what I want to buy. 
Okay. If mm-hmm. if I can buy it. That's honestly the best deal um, because the dragon turtle light armor it gives you some other status effects but it also is just a plus one so you would be basically paying for the status effects and the fact that you would look badass in dragon turtle armor um but it would be still it, like, it would be it, <laughs> it would still be like like i think it'd be i have to check i think is it'd it be a like good still a thousand gold uh yeah, yes backwards they there there are some good status effects. Um, just don't fall on your ass. But th- there there's some good ones. Uh, um, is there? Could I just have him the... make a uh, like? Instead of making it like armor, could I just get like a coat made out of it? And get like the, just the bonuses, no armor included. The problem is that most of what was salvaged is the shell. There's a mm. little bit of skin, like leather on it, but almost all of that is going to be used up with Kuno's um, shield and Mega Ninja Turtle. Yeah, like he's getting fully Fair. decked That's out. Right. I don't the think shredder. there's enough <laughs> just leather to do. Um, and, and he even says, like, for, for Niall to get another set, he would probably have to use, like, some of the hidden leather pieces would have to just be, like, regular cow's leather. But the studs mm. could still be, like, turtle shells, like, sharpened. Oh, the I don't need turtle armor. It's okay. Um, Aqua, for the Warhammer, he takes yeah. a look at it. He's going to make an investigation check on it. He's going to roll real shit. Um, Rip. Or... It's a, he, he he realizes that it's got some arcane enchantments. He he kind of looks at it. He doesn't know that this is just a plus one warhammer. So he kind of looks at you and he's just like, "This is interesting. I haven't seen uh, haven't seen these kind of runes before. What uh, what does it do?" I don't know. That's why I'm giving it to you to look at. Uh, um. Yes, yeah, sir. No, never mind. Can I? Okay. Can uh, I think a mon will be like, I, actually, I. I didn't take quite a good look at it before, but I I know some magics, uh, and Amon will go over and like yes. pretend to identify it. Yes. Make uh, make a uh, make a deception uh, check. Swindle. Um. Oh, that's really bad. Really deception. Twenty six. Jesus. Eighteen plus eight. He's got pretty good insight. He's been in the business a while. Let's see. Yep, yep. Nope, not a 26. <laughs> not long nope. enough. <laughs> not long, long enough. enough. Um, not, not long oh, enough. wow. Um, yeah, yeah, this please. Um, I'm going to take your word for it. You guys have done a, a, a number of very good deals oh with me God. here today. And uh, these are valued customers, I think, already. I so please tell me what you think it does. Um, I will still so get it appraised, very, but I can at least give a deposit on that total. I think <laughs> this is very ancient magics. <laughs> Command tides and uh, summon geysers. I think it's. I'm not exactly the the mysteries of the arcane is speaking to me, but uh, sorry, it's. <laughs> Wait, it does this? What? Wait, why are we yeah. getting rid of it then? <laughs> Step on the box. <laughs> yeah, Kudo's also like, oh, yeah, yeah. Kudo's like, wait a minute. Maybe I don't want this long sword. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, but we don't. Do we, Do you need it? No. Well, no, I'm all about I, water, right? So, it, like, it, should it, I uh, just message Aqua? Like, just go along with it. <laughs> Make a sleight of hand, Where? Niall. <laughs> yeah, because, like, you have to go like this. <laughs> Fuck. I think not. God fucking damn it. A 22. Oh, pretty good. Uh, He kind of looks over at you, Niall, but looks back at uh, Amon. Sorry, you guys wanted to keep in this or or we get rid of it? No, no, we're selling it. No one here. Yeah, we're selling it. Right, Aqua? Do you want to sell it? But it does all this like cool water <laughs> stuff now. It is. It's only. It's unable to be wielded uh, by anyone of uh, non-religious uh, uh, effect. Someone like a paladin or a cleric would have to wield. Yeah, no, I don't want it. Oh. Yes, yes exactly. Oh, okay. exactly. Oh. 
Shoot! Shoot darn! Okay. <laughs> Shoot darn! <laughs> Gosh darn it! Darn. Gosh darn it! Well dang Nevit! If only I changed my class! <laughs> Might as well multi-class now. Let me multi-class right now. <laughs> I hope he doesn't remember this. <laughs> well sir, this is all yours then. We can never come shopping here if they ever figure this out. <laughs> Except that we have armor on order here. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, it's gonna take weeks. Yeah, we have to be We're in contact with him for days. I don't know this, why you guys did this. This is Amon doesn't have to. Amon doesn't have to be in contact with this man anymore. Those are assholes. Uh, so, you, so you're selling it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they're Amon. I feel like they're gonna fully throw you under the bus. <laughs> well, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Any anything that fancy, uh, well, I'm willing to purchase, but I am gonna have to get it appraised by, uh, by, by by someone, uh, someone who works for the guild. You understand, uh, if there are specific values uh, for the war effort, it might be classified as urgent to send this forth uh, to, to someone who could use it and put it to good use. So, um. I can He's give you I can give you a holding fee uh, to give you at least some income from this sale, but I won't be able to finalize this sale until I have it appraised. Uh, that mm -hmm. works That's with fair. Uh, That's fair. with you guys. Could we get what are you thinking for uh, maybe like solid 250, 300 gold for a holding fee? Uh that's 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 typical standard. Uh t typically yeah. uh Typically 200, uh, 250 gold um, as a placeholder fee, and then uh, that will be put towards uh, uh, the final fee, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When that uh, when that comes uh, comes to fruition, uh, yeah, I, I could definitely do that. Uh, sorry, are, are you selling it, sir? I, I believe you got it from uh, the, the blue one, uh, Aqua. She I think. Is, uh, she is, would you like to sell it? Yeah. Would you like to sell it? Yeah, yes. I mean, yeah. But, well then, um, yeah, sure. I am, uh, yeah. But I don't want to be a, a burden to you too, sir. Like, sh do you want us to take it somewhere first and then bring it back? Uh, no, 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 no. It, it, it has to get, it has to get, uh, um... Approved no matter what. No matter it has to get appraised by, by by someone from from the guild, unfortunately. So so regardless, okay, okay. this purchase will have to be validated before before anything can be uh, can be finalized. Um, but uh, uh, I, no, I you, will, you guys are uh, yeah, you guys uh, are fine to leave that here, and uh, you can okay. pull out uh, um, pulls yeah, out twenty five. I'm, I'm not the most. Uh, the, I'm not the most. Uh, studious in the arcane arts and such so my reading might not be exactly accurate if it's not up to what i think it is will there be any i'm trying not to to swindle you if uh, but i'm not exactly sure what it well, does entirely i, I, I yes. really hope you're not trying to swindle me that's that's no, uh, no, that's, that's not. definitely not the place we want to be at but uh no i i imagine you know, it, you guys have done good business here, and you've left me a great deal of materials mm. to put towards the creations that your uh, friends seem to be making. And uh, if the value is less and you do not return, uh, we would have to deduct it from their payment, seeing as you are all... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. From what I understand from the seal you have, uh, uh, you guys are one unit, <laughs> at least uh, while you were in the city. So, um, mm -hmm. But, but, but I, you, you know, well, like I said, we've established some sort of friendship and... Uh, I don't see that being too much of a problem. Yeah. No, not at all. Since we're friends now. Yeah. <laughs> friends. I heard, I heard you, friendship, and I just went. Do you have any particularly exceptional armor? Light uh, armor. Well, I was telling your friends here earlier. Uh, no, no, not really. Uh, everything's everything's kind of been uh, uh, acquiesced. The war effort. Um, Especially since we're about to find out what the hell is going to be happening. Um, but uh, you got the materials, I can I can surely make something. And uh, I work with a couple other uh, arcane, uh, you know, magic isn't too, too popular in, uh, in Bashir, but there are a number of arcane uh, enchanters uh, who, who kind of work with the government and uh, establish uh, some magical items that are typically used for the military, but uh, for the right price, uh, could be... Sent your way instead. See, and what might that entail? That price be? 
Well, it depends on what you want what, and what materials you're providing, I suppose. Uh, and he kind of walks yeah, you through I, the same thing that he walked through the others, where they honestly came with the materials <laughs> and yeah. like, hey, how much to make this and how long would it take? Um, so it really depends on what you're looking for, what materials Cut. you're providing. I have to find materials. So We also have Very titanium well. moss if you need it. Oh, Titanium light armor. Is there moonstone left? Hell yeah. There is moonstone left. Because yes. we haven't tried selling it yet. Yes. Could we try I mean, with the moonstone? moonstone? Or armor? I don't know. I don't is know. that possible? Cool. Uh, cool. can, moonstone can be infused with most anything. Uh, the, the problem is... Well, uh, you might know, and he, he, he gestures to you, Nico. Uh, assuming you're from your uh, your people's uh, homeland. Uh, things that are uh, infused with uh, <laughs> with Moonstone tend to uh, declare independence. <laughs> so, uh, uh, right. there, so there is a... Just... Well, it depends on what kind of relationship you're able to establish, I suppose. But... Uh, I wonder how that would be come into conflict with. Hmm. I'm still interested. Uh, um, aside from armors and such, uh, are you familiar with firearms? I've dabbled a little bit. I can honestly say it's not something I'm super uh, impressed by. I much prefer uh, cold hard steel. Blades. Heard it kill a man up close. If, if, exactly, yes. Uh, and yeah. arrows. Arrows are fine, That's, but uh, anything that makes that much noise can't be that good. Uh, what kind of what kind of pistol does Nile have? A revolver or just like a pepper box or something? Nile's got a um, clock. Nile's got a I'm on, I'm on, I'm on it for like... Yeah, I'm on had it for like you a week. You did, but so. you're not familiar with guns. Uh, um, no, no, no. He, it, it would've, he would I have believe. just finagled on how to like reload it. And I, I what Amon is going to ask for is just to have whatever mechanism is used to load the gun maybe replaced with titanium and make it essentially like a plus one. Just like better material, like a better oiled runs better, stuff like that. Just I'd to say get, like a revolver probably. Yeah, so just like a, instead of sense. whatever like iron or steel chamber would be made of titanium and maybe a titanium barrel Ooh. so that it shoots better, shoots more accurate, stuff like Not, that. Niall, Niall is in the shop with you, so are you doing this as a yeah. gift? Or are you talking about it with Niall? Or? Talking about it with Niall, like I would have asked for Niall to like, like asked for the gun to like look at it and explain it to the blacksmith and everything. Because he's had this idea for, for a hot minute. Cool. Yeah. Just kind of going along with it, like not catching the, but like, my, my pay, am I paying for this? Or, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I can put front <laughs> some of it, but Maybe. I mean, you don't oh, have to. It's my. You said, didn't you spend a lot of your money? Yeah, I only got like two hundred gold left, so it's. Yeah, I, I, I can pay for it. It's fine. Okay. All right. Well, uh, he takes a look at it, assuming I can keep bond to this for for a couple days while I kind of tinker with it. I. Uh, I imagine we could we could do something here. Uh, definitely make it a little bit uh, sturdier. That's for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I could take a look at this. Um, yes, Nico. When he's looking at it, does he make any funny faces or anything like this? Because Niall's weapons are standard issue, and Zalian, right? They sure are. Make an insight check. This yeah, does he like go? Hmm. Question mark. This is kind of weird. Thirty twenty. He's definitely curious about it, but he doesn't uh, stinky eye or raise his eyebrows or anything. But he's looking at it over, and he's he's definitely happy to tear it apart and take a look at it. That's for sure. I feel like we also like bypass a little bit of curiosity because we are ruby holding members yeah. of yeah. the guild. I, we I are executive like easily, members yeah. of we the Costco feel like it could club. Easy, easily be talked away. We are, like, oh yeah, we killed the guy who, you know, was on the enemy side, stole his I, guns. I just don't and remember what we it. said about Niall when we came into town. Said that I picked it up up a soldier. Yeah, exactly. 
It just we killed a soldier and picked it up. Pretty sure they didn't believe me, but you know. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. It's like, hmm. He was a cool captain. Also, so, are you would you be willing to buy titanium? <laughs> we oh yeah, he did him. say he would be willing to look at it. Yeah, he I said uh, in a couple of days, um after, uh, for the after whatever happens happens to bring it uh, as well as the moonstone or whatever you're willing to sell he'll price it out for you guys yeah Sorry. and you can either deduct it from the cost of what you've already requested or he could just pay it out and you guys can divvy it up personally yes aqua two questions uh more so for dm um yep. so i did get the 200 right for the art uh hammer Oh, the hammer is worth much more than. Oh, yes. Sorry, the two fifty. Two fifty for the hold. Yes. Okay, yeah. and then two. I keep thinking about that staff that Moss and Amon. Mm -hmm. uh, Would have told Aqua about that? it. That was yeah. eight yeah, yeah, yeah. thousand yeah. gold. Just summarize it. What does it do, or what? Like, you're talking about. You're talking about this guy right here. The eyeball? No, 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 not the eyeball. The, no, the the tree or the, there was the a staff of the. Oh, that was a scary eyeball. You would give it a the, scary eyeball. The, the world tree yeah, sapling yeah, that yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, an yeah, arrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's a staff. Okay. Yes. I'll read out the full card. Um, it is very rare. This is eighteen thousand gold. Um, yes. this is very very. 18, I thought it was twenty three. Wait, Ooh, 18, That's 18, great. Thousand. 18,000. 18, not 18,000. 18, 18, but you could write that off against. Whatever you're thinking about. You could theoretically write that off against the debt that you guys have. But for That's the sake true. of campaign fairness, there is a limit to the DM's discretion. And we just know that. Just, just, just know that as you guys get more higher level gear, you'll have to use that higher level gear. Let's just put it that way. Um, so this is a very rare attunement requiring staff. Uh, the user gains a plus two to attack and damage rolls made with this weapon, including spell attack rolls made while holding it. So even spells that aren't from this weapon gain that effect. Uh, so deep reserves. This staff has three charges and regains all charges daily at dawn. These charges can be spent in the following ways. Helping hand is one charge. As a reaction, the user can target themselves or an ally within 30 feet of them when the target fails a saving throw. The target can roll 2d4 and add it to the total, possibly changing the outcome. So a one charge reaction to give someone a 2d4. Um, charge Ooh, two font. Like Font of Power is also one charge. As a bonus action, the staff can influence the next spell the user casts before the end of their next turn, granting the spell the extended or subtle spell metamagic option, which Ooh, is up to you. That's cool. And extended then, is really good. And then at all cost uses all three charges, so you can only do this or a combination of the other two. As an action, the staff can be slammed into the ground, instantly casting the magic circle spell at the feet of the user. When cast in this way, the spell doesn't require concentration, but it only lasts for one minute. Whoa. Whoa. That's, Fuck. That's, that's good for you because most of your spells... Sick. You... you <laughs> <laughs> Most of your spells are concentration. There was, all, there was also that fucking battle axe that would. <laughs> that oh, nobody dies. Yeah. Uh, this is at the magic shop, right? Or is yeah, this? Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. You guys are you guys are still at the blacksmith because you guys are talking about it. But this item is at yeah. the magic shop. That's great. Right, you guys can leave. Just remembering for us. Yeah, yeah you I guys think. can leave if if you've. Uh, um, yeah, Soren would have left. If you, if you guys think you're done here. Yeah. I think Kuno just wants to look for uh, a throwing weapon. At the blacksmith? Yeah, what, absolutely. Whether the blacksmith or at the uh, Magical Emporium. Uh, what kind of throwing weapon are you looking for? Something martial, I'm assuming? Yeah. Lightning javelin? Kuno definitely... doesn't know that exists, but that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> that would be pretty, <laughs> that'd be pretty, pretty sweet. swag. I mean, uh, if you, I think Kuno would be sold just by the name. <laughs> yeah. Joe Bias, like, how many you, you sold? have? Uh, oh, lightning just sold. I'll take three. Uh, <laughs> doesn't even finish that one. <laughs> Six of them. Uh, I was saying there's... lightning jalopy. <laughs> jalopy? <laughs> I was saying... 
So there's the trident, which is a lightning, martial like weapon. Six. Six um, of them. That can be thrown. Then there's Five also... Five tridents don't go far, though. Unless well, this is a trident of going really far. <laughs> An extended <laughs> range Ooh, trident. A, ja a lightning javelin of going further than it should. There's not a lot of... Uh, you got, you got a, besides you got javelins, there's not a lot that weapon? throws that far. Mm, I'm, I'm looking see. for like anything magical. Yeah, Some, uh, he does not have anything, but if you guys head over to the magic shop, you guys can take a look right. there. Back to Daddyus. Strutting to, yeah. the, to, yeah, Kuna doesn't know his name, but. <laughs> Amon, is, Amon is hyping up this magic shop. He's <laughs> like, this shit uh, is fucking great. You have, yeah. some, you you... have like a t-shirt and like t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. um, by the way, uh, just because I don't Re know. Repping all the merch. What? I also did <laughs> promise him that you would all shop here for like heavy discounts. Oh yeah, he, he, for... did pro he promised all of. I can get you. I guarantee get you five other people. Yeah, yeah. you guys are doing five. Other people. We will not probably never shop at a magic shop. <laughs> uh, just, just trying to hype this shop up so you guys spend money here. So I'm trying. I'm this guy's not mad. Not mad at me. Uh. Um, I had knocked off like 1200 gold <laughs> on my purchase. <laughs> All right. Kuna, right. you want to go to the magic shop? Kuna, do you want to go to the magic shop? Yeah, I could take a look. All right. Let's go. Kind of want to see the stick in person. Uh, I'm course, just going to go buy some new clothes. So you can all, all go right. have fun. All right. Um, there's, uh, um, uh, Moss, you looking for new clothes? There's, um, some really nice uh, thread at the um, jewelers. Oh, the where? The jewelers. The jewelers. <laughs> there is actually, yeah. There was some really nice thread. It's from That's um, cool. it's from Aiton, right? Yes. It's from Aiton. Oh, like literally thread for yes. making. Not. Th yes. If you want to infuse that with your. Oh. It's from. Like it's Aiton. for infusing magic. I mean, it's from the lost city of Aten, or some supposedly. Which I still have to speak to this merchant who sold it if he wasn't swindling her. <clears throat> right. I might have to look at that. Um, in the meantime, I will be on the search for clothing or, or a leather worker or something. Okay. Um, We'll let the rest of the party head over to the uh, the magic trinket shop where Daddy Thaddeus is there in the Arcane Emporium. Zaddeus. Zaddeus, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> They're just ridiculous. Uh, and you enter the shop. Um, Zaddeus. You, you guys see uh, you guys see this uh, this very very fantastic looking tiefling. Um, very aloof, kind of feet up, reading a book uh, with a monocle on in one eye, but that eye is closed and he's reading with the other eye. Um, he hears little chimes go shut. Um, oh, um, welcome, welcome. Uh, Hello. Oh, good, good to see you back here so soon. And these are the, and he begins counting. These are the five yeah. friends. These are the five well, friends. You uh, hold your bargain truthfully so far. Welcome, welcome to the Arcane Emporium. I am Thaddeus, but you can call me friend. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Who's up first? Or please look around. Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Uh, I'm told you could help me with... Um, I'm, I don't have that much coin left on me, so looking for something in the lower price range, but um, okay, a throwing okay. weapon of sorts. Uh, something that you can throw maybe 30 feet or more. Sure, sure. I do have uh, some pristine javelins. Uh, I have two different flavors, gentlemen. Uh, I have one that offers a bit of extra uh, crackle, a little bit of uh, lightning to go with it, a bit of a buzz, if you will. And I have another that does a very similar effect, but this one has a chance of knocking 
the person unconscious. That one, though, I only have one left in stock. Okay. The that, break. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, is this the any, same price? Any? Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, the, the lightning javelins, those are not, uh, too, too bad. Um, that, uh, that's only going to run you about 300 gold. Um, nothing, nothing too steep for something so elegant. Um, but, uh, another javelin, um, and he begins to describe in a non-mechanical way, but I'm going to give you the mechanics of it. Uh, it is a, uh, a javelin of internal thought. It's got a very weird name. And basically what it does is you throw it. It does regular javelin damage, has the same distance. Everything there is the same. If it hits the target, they have to make a wisdom saving throw of 12. So it's easy to succeed. But depending on which creatures you're throwing it at, wisdom is not necessarily good. Um, and then if they have fewer than 100 hit points, they fall asleep. <laughs> well, Ding! <laughs> for one round, but that can still be. That's still like. That's still pretty good. Ding! That's a lot of critical hits. Wisdom yeah, 12. That's yeah, that's, that's true. That's good, up yeah. To a, that's good to up to a certain point. Yeah. yeah. Lightning javelins, though. Lightning if javelins. Those are life. good. For life. Yeah. I will also specify, um, I have to create this item, but I do have notes on it. Um, the sleep effect only works when it is thrown, which is great because that's that's kind of what it's for. So uh, that one uh, yeah. is 800 gold. Uh, did you have one of each? It one, one of each. each, yeah. I do have enough for both, but I don't know if I'll ever use the... This is the, is the, the knockout one also... Um, does it have charges or is it like because like I know with the lightning javelin, once you throw it, you can pick it back up and it comes back the next day. Uh, this one is a similar thing. Yeah. OK, so I can I can fuck it up. Huh, that's sweet. sweet. Well, you can fuck up both of them. So think about it. And then. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Man, okay, so I can't decide. Do you suppose you could do a discount of five hundred to take both? He looks. So he looks at Amon. <laughs> Amon just starts sweating. Because like, uh, they got they uh, got a very very good deal from uh, from this guy. Uh, uh, I I could knock off seventy five gold. Ten twenty five. We'll call it. I'll take it. Very well, sir. Um. <laughs> So and uh, like out of character, Nick, if there. you could just send me a reminder either now or after the session, and I will create yeah, that item. It won't take too long, and uh, then we'll have that. <sighs> with the um, yes, yes, please uh, look around. Uh, oh. oh dear, you are appear to be looking at uh, my wall of scrolls. How, how, how much was the discount? You said you said uh, it was seventy five off, so it would be eleven hundred minus seventy five, which is ten twenty five, is your total cost. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and he sees Nico, uh, which is just next to this little rack of javelins, looking at like the Harry Potter wand shop wall of scroll cases that are just fucking everywhere. And he's actually done a great job. They are labeled by the School of Magic. Um, they're not labeled by what's inside of them, which is also confusing, but um, they are color coded a little bit to at least tell you what School of Magic they're in. Um, the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> yeah, they're Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Magic System. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey yeah. back at it again. <laughs> Good old Dewster. Be a terrible spell name. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> uh, um. My list is I so will say, long. Your list is very long. Um, he has... Yep tons of scrolls and the reason for yeah. that and he describes it these things have been sitting around collecting dust you see Bashir is a beautiful place and there are beautiful people here but these beautiful people do not like learning magic they like <gasps> using magic but unless there are not very many wizards such as yourself who would be so kind as to take these off my hands so I will at least say the more you buy the more I can help you out Oh my god. So what are you looking for? Oh my god. Uh uh 
Well, I have a very long list. Um, hmm. Oh, cash. Uh, he gives you the basic prices, by the way, just to keep things yes. super simple. Um, you'll get a discount um, as you go through them. But for the levels that you sent me, these are the base prices. That is with your discount. Or, sorry, that is with your Ruby discount, not with your buy more, save more event discount. Oh, gosh. I might just have to send you a list. Yeah. You start looking. I'll, to, I'll, I'll come back bad. to you. There's <laughs> a lot of bad. Nico grabs a wheelbarrow cart from the front. Um Because you also have to transcribe them into your arcane instrument, which will also take a long time. Uh, I think it's like I think it's like one hour per spell level or something crazy like hours. that. Two, two hours. Two hours. So. And fifty gold worth of materials. Yes. I'll um, see you later, Nico. See yeah, you bye. later, Nico. We got limited um, cave for a month. Yep. Who else is looking around and what are we looking at? <sighs> Soren, what do you got? Um Soren, um I he like could you enchant things? Can you enchant things? I do. I do take commissions, but uh, I will. I will make it very clear. And he kind of taps uh, a sign um, that there are no discounts on enchanting, including uh, ruby seals. It is. It is a flat fee based on the difficulty it requires. And he explains that this is basically because he's already selling almost everything at cost. He has a very mm -hmm. narrow margin on items and he has to turn a profit. And so he makes profit from commissions. Okay. Um, Soren takes off his amulet and sets it on the table. Can you enchant this to maybe make it stronger? Makes the magic that channels through it stronger. I see. And he takes a look at it, and it's the symbol of Katara. Mm hmm. Kind of looks up at you. Interesting. Um. Potentially. Let me let me take a look to see what I uh, what I might be able to do. Um, are you looking to just have a? more rigid spell potency? Are you looking to add some sort of spell casting ability? Are you looking for it to hold spells, hold creatures? What, uh, um, what are you after? Z first, but not Z too loud there. Just, you said, you said potency was the first one you said, right? Yes, yeah. Just looking at simple spell, uh, not simple, but just, for lack of a better term, simple spell potency. Okay. For layman's terms, I'm looking to make that the Amulet of Devout. Y'all. Let's take a look-see. <laughs> For layman's terms. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I talked like that. Because <laughs> I so feel like I could not gonna... <laughs> You already have the item you're looking to just add the enchantment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, I figured he wouldn't have one laying devout. around. No, no, he does not. He confirms that he does not. And I wouldn't want two amulets. He's weighing my neck down. <laughs> Sorry, wait a second. Da, 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 da. Uh, these enchantments are a little bit sticky. Um, I mean, I could see. Uh, help if you need it and you don't have to give it wouldn't I'm not asking for a discount, but if it is much if it's would be difficult, then I could help. Perhaps. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up. I had a list for this. There it is. Oh that's why it's from Tasha's. Uh, this, uh, this is expensive. This is expensive magic. And, and he begins to explain why. And, and, and the base knowledge of it is 
he identifies what deity you <laughs> ritually support <laughs> and each deity has different material costs in order to attribute their uh, worship to enhancing one's abilities and, and there are different things that are required um, he begins to list off some of them um, some of these you've heard of some of these are a little bit more uh, <laughs> rare and unknown um, I'll say, you know, I, I don't have a direct list, but, you know, hey, I have this, I have this. You kind of offer a couple things uh, that will help. He says that with the materials you're able to provide just from your regular clerics kit, um, it's still <laughs> going to be about 4,000 gold. Okay. All right. Woo-wee. Is this just a plus one or is this? Pl- this is just a plus one. Yeah. Holy moly. It is mainly because of the additional um, channel divinity um, that uh, that really upticks the price as well. Because um, okay. like a, sta- a plus oh, one staff oh. is a little bit less expensive, okay, but yeah, it's a little like, bit more simple, right? Yeah, I see. I see. So I get an extra channel divinity with it. Which is so, dope, but which it is definitely is a cost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much do I have? Give forty okay. four hundred. Yeah. All right. And some change. Uh, well, look. Looks like now you'll have to wait on that armor. <laughs> <laughs> you let that wait on it's the, fine. Or, or or Nile could pay for yours, and you and you can get that because Nile Nile has the money too. So you guys just have to decide. You know, between between a lot of you, you can make some calls for sure. That is an idea. Because will- you would. You, okay, you would get an increase of two, and I would get an increase of one in AC. Ooh, Fine that's a fair me. trade. That's a good trade. Okay, so okay. you can add Amulet and of the Devout me one. plus one. <laughs> you do owe me one. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Um, you can add an Amulet of out. Devout plus one. Uh, it is going to take him, uh, uh, for this, it's three days um, okay. for him to... Uh, him to have it ready for you so that's the 16th of briskar uh you can feel free to add it to your inventory and deduct the money just so you know you have it but just uh know that the bonuses won't be in effect until the 16th um uh, it's the 13th right it is the 13th currently yeah um how much am i paying 1600 money 1600 okay. gold or 160 platinum um and then we'll say that you guys have gotten that process started um aqua okay. Sticks too pricey. Um, I want it though. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want it. Is there anything you can do with my stick? I'll just place my stick, my staff on the couch. He's genuinely confused because you're calling it a stick. He's like, "Oh, your uh, your your staff. I believe you use this as your uh, sort of arcane focus. Is that correct?" Yeah, plants and stuff. Y- yeah. Yeah, plants and stuff. Um, He does have a... uh, He does have a staff. um, So he has two staves, plus he can enchant this one if he would like to instead. Uh, He has a... One second. There's so Which many. Which one's gonna be so my hitting stick? Items. So many items. Which one's gonna get beaten up? Ooh, maybe I can beat the price down. Well, he's got your stick, so maybe not. No, no. I grab his stick and I beat him. <laughs> uh, he has, sorry, he has one staff and then he can enchant yours. So okay. he has, he pulls out a uh, very kind of, not slimy as in wet, but very like, you know, you, you get the vibes that this is for like an evil character right off the bat, but he kind of explains it to you. Uh, this, uh, this... Well, I, I I call him James, but you can name him whatever you like. This is uh, this is a python. Um, but uh, when he's sleeping, he tends to take this form. Uh, but you can uh, 
well, it's a little bit not graceful, but uh, and he throws the stick on the ground and it turns into a python. Um, a very, very large python. It's about 15 feet long. Um, it's a giant constrictor snake. Um, and uh, you watch as Thaddeus begins like telling it what to do and like doing all these things. It's nothing fancy, but uh, you know, the only downside is that if the snake dies, the staff will break. So just keep that in mind that you may want to use this sparingly, but otherwise you can command it and control it uh, while in battle and it can do uh, do wondrous things for you. Um, can I uh, see Greg's reaction? Greg's like he's... looking at it. And he's Thaddeus is getting the snake to like dance back and forth like a snake charmer, and you see Greg starting to do it too. Like he's like, <laughs> hopefully, it doesn't eat Greg. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, Greg, are you comfortable with the snake? Because no, like, but what if it tend- eats Greg, and That's then gets I'm turned thinking. back into a staff, and it's just Greg oh, you just is your said staff. Greg shaped, <laughs> Greg shaped Wait, amulet Greg on top. Sh- Could be cool. Yeah, but I don't want to lose both if it dies. Oh, that's true. What are some options for enchanting the my current staff? Well, we, we, we can enchant uh, you know, very, very basic, uh, you know, minor, minor increases in overall power or, or nothing too crazy for, for a staff like this. Uh, if you're not looking for anything more than just a little bit of spell potency, it'd be about 1100 gold. Um, but uh, go further than that. But anything above basic potency, you're, you're looking into, you know, a few thousand at that point, usually starting around 4000 for a plus two. I really like you, especially since you named your stick, I mean, staff, James. Um, but I just spent a lot of money. Um, let us return with more treasures and then I will, um, come back and maybe buy James. All right. It's a deal. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you soon, I suppose. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, miss, did you uh, find everything you're, you're looking for? Or, or uh, Amon, were you were you back for anything else? Uh, she seems to still be <laughs> looking, so. Uh, I mean, not entirely, unless you somehow magically got more inventory in as I was gone for the past hour. Um, uh, no, no, unfortunately I did not. Uh, where's your tall friend? Where'd he go? Oh, he is, uh, he's getting, uh, clothing. He's, he wants to buy some new duds, so. You, you, I mean, you wouldn't happen to have any magical clothing, would you? I've got a couple minor things, but nothing super fancy. But, uh, I mean, what, what, I mean, I've just got this old poncho, so. Anything for him or me, did, uh, what is, what's some what's some interesting things you got? Uh, he has two cloaks that are kind of just like chilling on a wall. Uh, he's got a cloak of protection and a cloak of the bat. Mm. Oh, oh my god! How much for that, you how much for that cloak of the bat? Oh, that sucker! Uh, it's on sale, You're but rad. it is still around eleven thousand gold. Oh shit! Never mind. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. It is a. It what is about the rare. It yeah, it's rare. rare. What, what, what about the what, are, what about the so other one? Uh, the protection. protection. It's only going to be about eight hundred. Mm. That's not bad. I can. Would anybody be willing to help me with that? Wait, how much? Eight hundred. I can front two hundred of that. Oh, I can help. Sor- Soren can't help. <laughs> No. Sword cannot. Sword's Sor- broke. <laughs> Even if I had some money, I wouldn't help. Uh, oh. like you, you want, you wanted a mon, a mon? I, oh, Wait, I, you wanted, you wanted a mon? I, I said that wrong. I kind of, I kind of do. Okay. And then I just put eight hundred gold on the on the oh, uh, on the oh, table. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> eight hundred gold is so heavy. Uh, 
You probably put 80 platinum. 80 platinum, yeah. 800 gold is like shot putting a giant medicine <laughs> yeah. ball. Yeah, I don't actually have 800 gold. I only have 80 platinum. <laughs> yeah, 80 platinum uh, for the cloak of protection. Oh, well, yep. I, thank you, Aqua. I, I appreciate that. It, I oh. mean, do you want me to give you 200? I, no. I, I, You've done so sure? much for us. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you. And I still have my jar of dirt. I mean, jar of mending. Oh, that's yeah. I, I, you do have that. Yeah. Well, I I appreciate it. You're welcome. Truly. Mon will like give you like a smile, like an actual genuine smile. <laughs> it's like he's like wasn't expecting. It's like. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get my stick or staff and um and um. Um, num, 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 num. And I figured, you know, like whatever great. You also told me about my mom. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this right here and now. Uh, but like, <laughs> uh, you know, like you just you you, uh, you really cheered me up lately. So I I, I wanted to show appreciation. I don't know why that turned into you, a uh, song. Uh, <laughs> show uh, appreciation. <laughs> 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 Well, I uh, I appreciate I appreciate it, Aqua. Truly, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. And I will <laughs> throw that cloak of protection on my shoulders. Hell yeah! <laughs> my brain uh, really wants to yell out. Well, I gotta protect my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. My dad. My dad. Um, <laughs> dad. Kuno. Uh, the blade is whispering to you uh, apparently there's brother? brother? I Kuno out, outside no. please take me outside Kuno Kuno's like stepping out <laughs> 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 uh, you step out and you kind of you kind of look around uh, with the perception check that I had you roll uh, you're you don't you don't really see, see anything around you that's super like oh clearly it's this way but you begin to hear murmurings of the crowd and it's a crowded market so, so it's very very busy you hear murmurings and you see at the far southern edge from the building a slow procession of uh, uh soldiers of sort on horseback and the crowd slowly very very slowly they're, they're like almost like parade marching like they're not charging through the city begin to split um with your perception check you notice on the hilt of one of the large large orcs leading this procession is the handle of a blade that looks very similar in its design elements to that as the blade of Kelsine. And your sword begins to sing. Puna will try and get closer to like the edge of this parade, like, try and squeeze his way so we can get a better s view of this guard. Sure, yeah. As as you're you're kind of, you know, you're traveling in the opposite direction, so you're getting closer to each other here. Uh, you begin to make up more finer details. This, um... This orc appears to be similar build to yourself in terms of possibly being either a paladin or uh, a fighter of sorts having this very heavy plated armor. Uh, these large jagged pieces of silvered steel. Uh, so it's very shiny, very ornamental, but also very, very functional. You see giant runes over the breastplate pieces uh, that seems to kind of crackle and flicker as he like purposely kind of, you know, flexes himself. Um, you also notice that he is the only one on a war horse. Everyone else is on uh, draft horses, but for his size and weight, he needs something a little bit stronger. Um, this uh, orcish gentleman not wearing the helmet part of this full plate armor uh, large large scar uh, straight down to the middle of the nose bridge and then cutting through both eyes 
Um, uh, he appears to not need his eyes. He appears to be looking around and nodding at people and still making gestures and like saluting to various soldiers that appear to be shopping. Um, it takes you a little while. You're kind of enamored with trying to get close enough to see more detail, but you eventually notice that people are kind of looking at you oddly, like, oh, what is that? What, what is singing? Why, why, what is this man doing? What is it? Come on, Daughtry, we go this way. And realize that the Blade of Kelsey is singing outwardly. Kuno will kind of like, um, I forget, do I have to summon it to speak to it or can I just speak to it mentally? You're not 100% certain, but you can certainly try to speak to it. Kuno would just think initially, just quiet so I can hear you. But so can my brother. Kuno, it's my brother. I can feel him. I know him. I must see him. I, I've seen what I can do. Uh, and Kuno um, will just continue to follow this parade. And, and just try and, like, keep a tab on the orc carrying the weapon. Okay. We're going to come back to that in a second. Nico. Yes. I have an arm load. How many scrolls you got under your arm load here? Uh, uh. Ten. <laughs> Ten scrolls. I hope we go um, sailing sometime soon because I've got a lot of transcribing to do. <laughs> You've got a lot of downtime activities to get through, yeah. Um, uh, you sent me the list, which I appreciate. I will say, with that total cost, including the materials, the original would be around that <gasps> 33, 3400 mark. Uh, he's willing to... Um, he's not going to touch the scrolls as much, just because you are buying the materials. He'll bring it down to an even 2900. <gasps> I am so thankful. Thank you, Thaddeus. I am so excited. So much more knowledge. But you remember any more of your wizard friends. The Arcane Emporium. Only place this of side course. of the mountains. The only? Oh, well, I'll be back then. Um, Thank you. Kind of raises two eyebrows. Uh, you guys all begin to hear not a commotion, but like the murmurings of the crowd coming from outside. Uh, Moss. While that's beginning to happen, uh, you can absolutely find whatever clothing you want. I don't know if we need to role play through uh, that, but if you oh, are if you are meeting back up at the party, I will turn it over to you to uh, describe what you are wearing as you uh, you've uh, depending on where you think you've been because oh, um, they've been about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Jeans. <laughs> He's got some <laughs> jean jackets. Um, it says cowboy on the on the ass of it. <laughs> <laughs> really, I didn't even notice that. Um, but we'll <laughs> say uh, we'll say uh, Moss, you uh, kind of awkwardly end up following this procession because you're like, oh, this is where uh, oh, uh, me and the uh, are, so we'll kind of right? keep a distance. Um, it's not a huge procession; it's maybe twelve riders. Um, and the crowd kind of reforms behind them and the murmuring, you kind of pick up uh, uh, the phrase Crimson Fall. Um, mm. uh, ooh, the general's name. General General. Good old Gen General. General Stinky Bottom. <laughs> Stinky Bottom. What do you think this is? My game? Uh, <laughs> Heather. <laughs> It Heather, is. Re yes. Real quick before we move away, um, I just I realized as I was adding it to my inventory, I forgot I already have a cloak, so <laughs> might need to retcon buying the cloak of protection because I already can, have a cloak of displacement. You guys can absolutely do that. <laughs> or there yeah. is other people in your party who um, might want yeah, a cloak of uh, yeah. protection as well, but depending I, I, on their finances. Would um, he would he be interested in trading? my cloak of displacement for the cloak of the bat because I would rather have the cloak of the bat if I'm oh. so am I getting my 800 
bad? Um, or is I, that going mean, to contribute to it? Let's take a quick I'm not look. sure. Let's see where let's this goes. See. Yeah, yeah. Because someone else can definitely have it. I, I was originally going to gift it to Moss, and then I was like, oh, I'll, if Aqua's buying it for me, I'll keep it. Because, But I'm like, oh, well, I can yes. just explain to Aqua that I can give it to Moss as a little gift, but... You literally at barely ever use the poke. Well, because your AC is so low. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. so it's like, oh, 11? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah. At this point, in, at this point in the game, it's not really. Point. It's yeah. It's good for like the cloak of dismissal. It's probably good for like anyone with high. AC, uh, like, kind yes, of. he would be willing to do an even train change for okay, the cloak of the sweet. Bat. Yeah, so I'll change out my cloak of displacement for the cloak, of the cloak of the bat, and then Aqua, you get your money back. Yeah, you get your money back, Aqua. Sorry about that. I'll buy I you some. Appreciate the though. gesture, though. <laughs> aren't you already getting it? Wait, did, aren't you getting him a bracelet? Her thing? Uh, Maybe. shush. <laughs> uh, sure. I don't. I don't know that. That's me out of character saying that. Oh, uh, it's a. It's not a bracelet. It's something else. It's a trinket. Hmm. Yeah. I, I have uh, a list of what I want for everyone, so. Kuno and uh, uh, Moss, as you guys are kind of both in this murmuring crowd before the rest of your party joins you, you hear people kind of whispering, and, and no one's shouting, no one's like, hurrah, you're black, you're back, or whatever, but you do pick up uh, uh, the name, or the title at least, Grand Marshal. Um, and that's, that's really, no, oh. no one really says the name that's after that, because it's one of those titles that doesn't need a name. Um... <laughs> Uh, it is Grand, simply the Grand Marshal. Him. Grand Marshal's back. I wonder what's happening out west. Uh, did you hear the uh, sights of dragons, I think? But I know the Grand Marshal Ooh. could take them out, no problem. So they're probably just back. Hey, is that... What's in that cart there? No, look, look, look. There's scales there. He did kill it. Just little whispering Ooh. conversations and things like that. All sorts of nonsense. Um, Moss and Kuno, just roll me a d20 real quick, each of you. Yeah, D20. Good luck check. Uh, do we add anything to it? Nope, this is just, uh, just a flat 20. A 15. 12. 12? Hey, within five of each other. You guys eventually, you don't mm -hmm. walk smack into each other if you roll the same number, but five, 15 and a 12, you guys end up seeing, and Kuno, you see the height of Moss. Uh, what does Kuno looking see? looking over everybody like, what is going on? <laughs> what does Kuno see, uh, Moss, as you uh, you walk up? Oh, goodness. Uh, by so, the way, uh, you hear something coming from Kuno that is just singing, like, operatic harmonies. Whoa. Well, Moss has like uh, a cable, a green cable knit, knit sweater, uh, like a fisherman's sweater. Uh, it's like a little too baggy because they could find one that was that just had to go bigger by scale, not by like dimension. So it's baggy in some places <laughs> and he's got it tucked into these leather bracers. Um, and into uh, his like belt that he's got on. Uh, and then he's just got like a simple pair of breeches that are tucked into his boots, which he's still wearing the purple boots that he used to have. Uh, but everything else, he's not wearing the shirt anymore or the fancy pants. Just normal clothes and he's got like a bunch of bags and stuff that he has now for all of this stuff Ooh. he's gonna go back looking to low key moss and some of his friends in the fair right i figured i was kind of tired of sticking out with a sore thumb with only half my outfit so oh, hey, i'm not bitch. crazy but you hear singing right yeah what what is th what is this uh, try and ignore it um what? Try it. Ignore it. Jesus You're God. hearing this, right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, just ignore this shit. <laughs> this thing I just brought up, don't worry about it. Let's move on. We're moving on. Hear the singing? Forget about it. Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> you see that guy in the crowd? The one He's now the, behind you, by the way, Kuno. He's continuing past you. Oh, shoot. You. I think he they was were like... calling him Grand Marshal? Yeah, him. Um... Uh, he kind of like looks around like to see if he can like pass it by, but he's like, no, screw it. And he's just, uh, I think he has a piece of calcine. 
piece of calcine? What does that mean? Calcine, this is like, Kun was saying this as he's like dragging Moss through the crowd, like <laughs> trying to keep up with the Grand Marshal. Yeah. Calcine has siblings, and this is one of them. Oh? I just want to know where he ends up. Okay, okay, right. Follow politely. <laughs> yeah, Kunu's just pushing through, and then Amon's like, sorry, excuse us. <laughs> Moss, yeah. Moss is like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, everything's totally fine. Um, We're all good. Everything is as it should be. Um, yeah, we gotta play it low key. <laughs> you guys eventually get to the point where you're about to walk past the blacksmith that you had just walked out of Kuno. Um, the rest of you, you guys kind of, or not the blacksmith, sorry, the, the, the Arcane Emporium. Uh, you have heard all of these uh, murmuring and the crowd kind of chiming up. Uh, Nico has finished purchasing her 10 scrolls. Um, do you talk about anything that you found, or you're just excited to get learning? No, I'm, I'm just excited to get started. All right. You guys leave the Arcan Emporium as the murmuring of the crowd get louder, or are you guys still shopping yeah, and looking around? Yeah, I think I'm so. already out of there. I haven't I have no interest yeah. in purchasing anything. <laughs> All right. I knew it. I called it. I called it. Nile doesn't believe in material No goods. loaves of bread, Nile? No loaves of bread. Oh, no magic loaves Nile doesn't know about the loaf of bread. <laughs> He doesn't know. <laughs> does he know? Does he know? Oh my God, does he know? Um, <laughs> uh, you guys meet up with Kuno and Moss, uh, who is wearing a very uh, different outfit. It'll look better once I get my leather armor to put on over it. Don't worry. I dig it. I'm good. A new look. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's a lot less uh, up around my neck in a stranglehold. Very fair. You guys follow after uh, Kuno, I'm assuming you described to the rest of the party. Yeah, Kuno's like, okay, there's someone in the crowd. There's, see that guy in the horseback? I think he has something related to Kelsey. I'm just going to go see where he goes. And Kuno um, just kind of like... Uh, and I will also say Kuno is yelling a little bit um, because something on his person is singing and it's getting louder and louder. Um, and so Kuno's like at the point where he has to kind of yell over the sword um, as well. Um, and then immediately begins not chasing, but like following Moss his procession. still going with... I just imagine yeah. Kuno has like an iPhone alarm playing on him at all times. It's like, <laughs> forgot to turn it off. <laughs> pretty, pretty accurate, honestly. Not bad. Pretty, pretty accurate. Um, you guys follow after. Um, again, hearing more uh, kind of whispers. Um, you know, hey, he's back before Crimson Fall. Uh, I wonder, you know, if the final right will be complete this time around um i think the singers of war have returned as well that can only spell one thing get ready get ready all these like different groups and they're mostly um, soldiers who are in you know various stages of intoxication and definitely have no authority over what the hell they're witnessing but they're kind of just making these assumptions that uh something's happening that's the final right I think Soren will like ask one of the groups of people like what is the final right? To... Uh, you pull you pull aside a soldier uh, who's who's actively talking about uh, this final right and at first you can see like he immediately is about to like get frustrated and angry and just be like what, what are you doing grabbing me? And he notices the uh, the seal around your neck. Oh um so sorry uh a final right, uh, it's sort of a, uh, a final test of sorts for, for the new recruits, for the new soldiers that have been training since the last ceasefire. It is a, uh, well, 
let's just say it's nice to have target practice. Uh, the small towns that lie in between Flintgate and here uh, typically are used as uh, a blooding of sorts to make sure the recruits are ready. This time, we will be ready. From what I hear, the council has voted for war. And if that's true, Flintgate will be ours before the summer's out. What makes you so sure about that? I'm just curious. I'm not no mistaken either. Well, <laughs> the rumors are true. The Grand Marshal has returned with more than one boon. You ever visit the stables west of here? No, I'm unfamiliar. Well, let's just say, rumor has it, the stables have been converted to house a larger beast. Something more dangerous than a simple horse. Rumor has it, there's more than one. What more than one? That is... Okay. You see one of his friends kind of pull him away like, don't listen to Roger. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's been drinking for the last 20 hours. Roger, what did you tell him? Listen, the final ride is nothing to be worried about. The soldiers will be blooded. We'll be ready for battle. You, you look like you could join. Have you any interest? No. Well, can't say I didn't ask. Done my uh, duty. Uh, very well then. Uh, are you following the Grand Marshal? Do you have business with him? You could say that. Oh, um, very well. Uh, right. And he just kind of like awkwardly doesn't know how to end this conversation. So you, <laughs> yeah, guys are, so sorry, you guys are, no, you guys are more important than me. He's like, you could say that and Sora just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are more important than me. So, uh, okay, bye. <laughs> You guys are following after. Eventually, the Grand Marshal arrives at the far western edge of the town where there is a massive... Looks like a cathedral, but it's very clearly like the, the government palace of sorts. Um, these massive iron gates open, letting the procession in. Two of the dozen or so horseback riders stop on the inside of the gates and dismount, and you see them basically take up guard on the inside of the fence and really what you're seeing is kind of that separation between you know the federal government and the the army where you know it's not like the states where the commander-in-chief is also the president it's more of a you know this clan has ownership over the military and they are coming to meet with a different clan who is part of a council so they're equals in this state but you know if you have all the firepower in, in a nation you might artificially have more power than just one sixth of the of the circle of the council, um, and so you see him having his own guards, kind of guard on top of what the palace guards have. You do see the iron gates shut close as people are trying to you know praise and bless uh, bless the grand marshal for his safe return, um, and they disappear inside the building. The further and further away that the Grand Marshal gets, the quieter the singing as you arrive at the palace. Hmm. Is there like a... Um... Marshal didn't hear the singing at all, like didn't turn his head back even once. He did not. Was or the singing did, louder than that? It, it was it was starting to get louder than the crowd, especially when you okay. were at the closest point. Yeah. He just assumed someone was singing of his good graces and of just course. like going, just like, I'm oh, the Grand yeah. Marshal. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. the Grand Marshal. Be gone from my side. Uh, Kuno, um, as the blade uh, calms down, or at least stops singing, you can feel the frustration Stop of the blade. That singing. We have to. We have to find my brother. Did you hear anything from him? Did he, was he singing? No, but I know he is there. 
That blade belongs to the family. We must, we must find my brother. Do it again. Thank you. Um, Kuno will just look to Moss and Moss, you understand government. How would I go about speaking to a Grand Marshal? Well, this place seems to be quite... Eh, there's a lot of steps you have to go through. So first you have to pose the question to learn the answer, because quite frankly, we'd have to go up the chain of command. So we'd Do you have think to start the lowest. Steel would give us an, an edge? Oh, quite certainly, and I'm sure in my meeting with whatever government individuals I meet with, I can speak to about the Grand Marshal. But three people were invited to that, right? That's Kuno also could be true. One of them. Maybe the yeah, Grand Marshal would show up to it, something um, like that. Right. However, it just comes down to how much do we want to tell them about Kelsine, if anything at all. Well, my Depends hopes was that was their equivalent of Kelsey but also felt the same way minded. Sure. Right. I assume each weapon is sentient, but maybe maybe it was only Kelsey. Did you only did you did you hear any thing similar coming from his blade? Or no. something on his person? And Kelsey did not hear anything either. But Kelsey believes it is Zerosa, and this is the first time they have done anything like this, let alone speak to me without me opening a conversation. So surely it must be important. Yeah. Maybe you could go with the meeting and maybe have a chance to... Um, a chance to talk to the Grand Marshal where you wouldn't have other prying ears. At the very least, we would be able to get an idea of how comfortable the conversation it will be. Yeah. If that is a possibility, I would come to the council meeting. Or Phil, come to the council meeting. You can come to the council yep. meeting. Yes. <laughs> what invited, bro? You're the best of us. You're the best of us. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, a moss? Now I'm like... <laughs> I am a moss. <laughs> Your shape name just dropped. Oh god. I don't know, you guys haven't been thinking about this the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of fan art. <laughs> You're no longer invited to the council meeting. <laughs> no. I just ordering commissions like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got one coming up right now. <laughs> you should see my AO3. I have a 200k word fic right now. <laughs> it's, oh, I just imagine it's like it's going crazy. It's like the fanfic stuff from like South Park. It's like an, it's like super anime and like. Oh god! Yeah. Oh god! Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> uh, you guys have also heard of the general who appears to be the de facto leader of the council, General Baramog. Um, Armog. Not referred to as the Grand Marshal. This appears to be somebody else. General Barmog. Um, from the sounds of it, from what you guys have collected, he is some sort of uh, heroic figure among the Bashirian people and the Ryzen forces in general. Um, that's Did really we see like what he looked like at all or no? Uh, yeah, you saw his uh, his face. Uh, you saw the scarring. Um, you know, he's looking around the crowd. So at one point, he looked back enough that you saw the same. It looks like he took a axe wound to the face um, and has recovered from such. There is a upside down T shape that crosses above his eye and then up through his forehead. Um, he appears to be blinded by this, but also is looking around at specific individuals. So he has some other way to see. Um, and, uh, other than that, like a very short cropped, uh, like kind of classic orcish mohawk, uh, like faux hawk, like very, very short, uh, military cut style length. Um, 
besides the t uh, the scarring, nothing super standout-ish besides the uh, glorious armor that he's wearing. Them digs are sick. Pretty sick. When is the um? Do we know when the meeting is or not? I think you were told a few days. Mm -hmm. um, after the council was out. After the council was out. So the council has now been out for... Uh, this Three is days? the third day. Yeah, the, it Three ended days. on the 10th. So 11, 12, 13th is the third day. Um, so, so it could be arranged pretty soon. Uh, you might have to head back and ask uh, ask your guild master or your clan master, rather. Um, Nico. Me. You hear uh, a little voice in your head. Um, Sick. <gasps> Uh, he hello, uh, Nico. This is uh, Re Reggie. Um, you're you're gonna want to come back to the, the to to the Citadel. Um, your th thing is is attacking people. <gasps> Markimer, I'm on my way, and uh, I just got an urgent <laughs> message. Mark is Mark is awake, uh, and I'm gonna haul my little tiny legs. Da -da -da -da. What does that mean? I don't know. We better go. Oh yeah, no, Niall yeah. wasn't here. Go. For this. No, we did start around more. What? Yeah, what? Um, <laughs> what? We should. We should yeah, we should go. We should. You we can should do go. surgery on a robot. Apparently, uh, yeah. We did. We did. Well. We did. <laughs> okay. I don't actually. Blood problem. Brothers and uh, Nico dissected more and put them back together. I left um, for like two days. We did a lot, as you can see. <laughs> we did a lot. My, it was a busy my, week, as you can see in my veins and. Uh, Mr. Glowboy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What He's is so what is glowing. Niall? Why does Niall see you when he when he looks at you, Soren? Uh, just every vein in his body is just like in his neck is like glowing. I totally right? forgot. The same to shade of blue. The None of us asked of, you about it. Yeah, no one asked me about it. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, the same okay. shade of blue as Aqua's uh, back was. Are you all right? You know, I don't mean to assume, but that looks suspiciously similar to what is on Aqua's back. What was Which on Aqua's back? Apparently is not on my back anymore. Oops. What? Well, I mean, the runes are still there, but I don't know if he has now the bomb, but I still have the curse. Or he has the curse, and I just have this cool tattoo now. I, I left don't know for what's two Days. <laughs> yeah. A lot actually has happened. It's been, a lot I, has happened. I was curious if I could do it and. And he can work. do something. Now he glows. So, you know. Um, and it's in his blood, so I don't know if that's even better. Mine was just on my back. Um. Or wars. Um, just has should, blood cancer. We should probably talk to someone to see if he, uh, he has the cancer now. Um, I mean, not the cancer, the curse. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, same thing. And like, it's, uh, yeah, we should probably go from there. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure, why not? All right. You guys so, follow after Nico. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> You guys arrive back at uh, the palace. Nico, you're probably five, two, two, oh, three minutes ahead. No, I have short legs. They overtake me very quickly. Oh, yeah, you're slow as hell. I'm really slow. <laughs> okay, you all arrive back at uh, at the fucking uh, <laughs> Tempest Citadel. Oh. Uh, you hear chaos. Uh, you hear glass shattering. You hear... Uh, people dodging out of the way. Um, you hear uh, the thudding of like objects hitting walls. Um, this is before you even get in the building. You can hear it echoing throughout the various chambers. Uh, I'm going to dig into my bag of holding and pull out just uh, my bag of scrap that I keep, my mork snacks that I keep on hand. So it's like a little tiny pouch of like old gears and like tiny junk or like, you know, the broken off piece of a tip of a knife or something yeah, like any little watches. <laughs> yeah, any all that little scrap 
You know how like you have when you're training a dog, you have a little pouch with snackums in it? Yeah. It's like that. It's my nice little hip pouch. Hey, it's just trash. It's it's metal trash, but it's just trash. I mean, that's why he's cranky. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open I'm gonna open the door a little bit. Poke my head in. Ah, uh, Mark, Mark. You, uh, actually, sorry. Um. Right, row. Oh shit. Does does a Why, 23 what? hit? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Mork rolled a nat 19. Hell yeah, he did. That's my boy. <laughs> uh, you take uh, 11 piercing damage as uh. an arrow that seems to be uh, phasing in and out of like reality rapidly kind of grazes your cheek and turns downward and kind of embeds itself in your shoulder. Um, as you open the door, Mork is flying around. You don't even see a bow from where he would have pulled it out. Um, and he is just like spinning around and attacking and throwing stuff. It's, uh, it's a good time. Oh gosh. Um. 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 um, Mork, Mork, cut it out. Um, I can't. Uh, can I try to just telepathically connect with Mork? And like, do I still have a connection with him? Uh, yeah. What do you try say or do? Uh, I just want to be like, oh, hey, I'm back. Calm down. I'll explain oh, everything. Oh, hey, I'm back. Oh, hey, oh it's your boy. It's your boy. <laughs> um, it's Nico. You look, uh, you look at your good, your good buddy. Uh, he looks a little different. <gasps> um underneath his eye where this little like clasp is kind of held in by like three little bands of like brass metal that kind of holds his ocular socket uh you see the top half of his face keeps on flapping open and close and you see where his mouth used to be is two sets of like square gear teeth um and he seems to have mutated a little bit he's still spherical um but from the research you've done, he looks a little bit closer to that of a duo drone classification <gasps> than a monodrone. He appears to be evolving, and you can see um, uh, his arms are a little bit thicker and longer. His wings are a little, little bit fuller, but also appear to be struggling to keep him in air as his body is rapidly changing. And he's just kind of like, he's just firing different little things at people. Um, it's great. Oh my gosh, Morkimer. Um, and he like is he like resisting the connection? Uh he, he like... does not appear to respond to your connection. Uh can I try something? Absolutely. Uh can I cast calm emotions on Mark? Oh. You cast calm emotions. Is it a saving throw or does it just happen? It's a saving throw. Perfect. What do I roll? You roll a uh, charisma. Charisma. Mark has a plus 17 to charisma, actually. He, of course. Close. He has a minus two. <laughs> <laughs> That's I still really good it. for a total of 13. Uh, no. Damn it. So, <laughs> Mark, uh, you can survive any effect causing a target to be charmed. Um, a creature can choose to fail. A creature fails, choose one of the following two effects. Indifferent about creatures of your choice that is hostile towards. I'm going to make it indifferent about everyone. You <laughs> hear I feel like... Mork muttering under his breath. The great machine, the great machine, the great machine, the great machine, the great... The great the, uh, uh, and he looks over at you and powers off as the calm emotions take effect. And he does that thing because he, he's still top heavy, but his legs are pretty strong now. So instead of just like falling over, he just like compresses into like egg form. And he's just like, mm. oh, my child. No more sparks. If you messed with his brain too much. Oh, what, have I done? what have I done to him? Uh, uh, if he's if he's powered down, I'm going to I'm gonna run over and then I'm going to pick him up. Can I hug him? Does yeah, he react no. at all? 
He doesn't it only stand. lasts. It only he lasts a minute. He doesn't. So. Yeah. Oh, it only lasts uh, a minute. Okay. Um. 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 Uh, now, can I telepathically connect to the work? Yeah. What do you try to do again? Uh, I'm just gonna try to impress upon him that he is not in danger. He is safe. We are family. We're friends. We are. We are. Uh, I don't know what the hive mind collective is called, but like we are a collective, like we are all connected. Okay. Um, Go ahead know. and roll a persuasion check, please. Marky boy, please don't leave me. I'll be mm -hmm. so sad. But sometimes oh, you got to let your children go fly away. I might have to. Nine. Nine. He wakes up. And in a very, very deep, grumbly voice, Mother. <gasps> you remember me! His weird human lips and mouth. <laughs> Ew. And his mustache. His mustache, is it grown in? No, his mustache um, is like French pencil mustache now. Well, that, well, that's what I meant. Is it a little bit thicker, like a little bit more pronounced? Oh, for sure, yeah. It's definitely more noticeable. The, most the rest of thing. the party kind of filters in back to the room. Uh, the main room of uh, your guys' uh, rented space here is <laughs> turned right. over. There's multiple javelins that are like the size of like, like, a, like a reusable straw through mm -hmm. various objects all over the place. Um, including like paintings and stuff on the wall. Um, you do see on the far wall, uh, he has uh, scribbled something. Uh, oh. Looks like he's etched it kind of into some of the stone there. It is basically just like a giant, like standard, like clip art uh, gear. But in the center, he has drawn thousands of little eyes that you kind of decipher mean like other creatures like him and there's thousands of them in this gear um um Mork are you alright is there anything I can do for you do you want a snack and I'll, I'll offer him a Casey looking brass spring. He just kind of like sideways, like clamps at it. <laughs> and you see his eye like begin to like elongate a little bit and then stretch back into its proper shape. Love it. Are you, are you okay? How are you feeling? And he just kind of like pulls out another little javelin, which again is just like this long, like six, seven inches. Ding, ding, ding. And where you used to hear like a little bit of like gears shifting like that weren't properly in place, you hear like a nice like tuning fork. <gasps> and then he throws the javelin over your shoulder. Um, Niall, <laughs> a... <laughs> Javelin kind of bounces off your forehead. It doesn't do any damage, but you're like, ah, what the fuck? What the? F uh, great. You sound you sound beautiful. Much more connected to Mechanist Mark. Niall, are you but okay? <laughs> you're you're good. You feel all right. You look I'm and he's fine. he's a little Healthy? taller because of his legs. He's still classified as tiny. Um, but he's, he's, when he walks, he like comes up to like your calf now. He's huge. He's, he's a, a giant. Boy. Um, well, if he's, he seems calmed down now, right? Like he's chill. He's kind of mellow though. He's kind of like always at an 11, but he's not freaking out anymore. I love that. Um, well here, uh, here, Mork, let's get you settled. Let's get you back in your nest. Let's have some snacks. Let's calm fine. down. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah, and I'll I'll see if I can uh, get him get him settled and uh, get him like a little pillow and then his little nest and then get just leave him a bunch of trash to eat. Hell yeah. You feel hang out. He kind of calms down a little bit. He doesn't seem to care about the trash. 
Uh, he begins <sighs> looking for like metal spoons and forks and stuff. Oh no, you're more, much more expensive to feed now? Okay. Reggie? Reggie? Oh, yes. Uh, is it safe to come in? And you see that oh. Reggie is bleeding from the temple. Um, oh no! And there's like a little straw shaped javelin sticking out of his forearm. Uh, if you were made of metal, yes. I could fix that. I'm sorry. Um, Reggie, I got. I, I can heal. If you yeah, Aqua, anything. you can kill. You can do that. I can kill. <laughs> what? You can do that. Heal. heal. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll heal. I'll, I'll heal uh, Reggie. You you pull out the you pull out the straw in his forearm to like begin healing him, and he's just like, and like a blood starts to squirt out of him. He's like, oh, and he like covers it and begins to go white and start to pass out. And you like grab his head. He's like, no 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 no, it's okay. And you uh, no. you heal him up. Uh, just um, just heal him. Uh, he's uh, Reggie. He seems he seems to be okay. Um, Reggie, I thank you so much for watching over my son. You've kept him safe. I will remember how wonderful you've been for him. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm never coming in the room again, uh, especially when you're not home. If that's all right with you, I'll be outside. Um, don't worry. Don't, no, no, no. I'm going to keep him with me at all times. Uh, he won't oh. be left unattended again. <laughs> don't you worry. Um, you and speaking of worse. not being in the same room as Mork, uh, do you mind getting... Uh, an old cutlery set that no one wants anymore. I'll, He's I'll hungry. Fine. Yep, yep, yep. And he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs away. Um, oh no! Wow, I've never seen boy. someone leave so fast before. I have. And that's coming a lot from me. <laughs> Niall, I have. <laughs> yeah, now. Well, that was after your third bottle. Now. It's true. Well. It's true. Well, I don't know um, what new things Mork might be able to do, but Kudo and Sworn, thank you. I think the surgery was a success. This is great. Yeah, what do you mean? Was it? Of course it was. He's alive. He's functioning. He's, He's got new everyone. upgrades. Battlebot? I don't see that as a downside. We just have to harness it in the right direction. I will okay. say, isn't, if he isn't throws a spear works? at me, I will undo the surgery. Can we do I think he does mean it. Sorry. Just like, I, like a try. Like a I, sliver. I can undo the surgery and could you fix it? Maybe. Couldn't. You undo the glow? Eventually. Soren's <laughs> only about breaking things. Doctor for you. I fixed it. I helped fix it. Um, I just said if he does, so you can hit anyone else. Right. Can hit anyone else. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll see if I could get it under control just in case, you know, we're around. But I can always... Wait, can I still... I'm going to try. And I'm going to hold up the glove to Mork's head and try to uh, temporarily dismiss him to his pocket point. Uh, you kind of focus and it definitely requires more mental capacity to kind of put him back in that pocket dimension. Um you feel him disappear, but you still feel some material object in your hand. And you kind of turn your hand over, and there's like a brass gear. It's like the raven. Does it have eyes all over it, or is it just a gear? Nope, just a gear. Just a gear? All right. And then if I think real hard, he'll come back. Nothing happens. What? Mork? Wait. Okay, I'm getting my, I'm getting my, 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 uh, arcane focus. So I'm getting ready. I'm recasting Find Familiar. Doesn't work. Oh my god. Aw, oh, you messed up. Did I just, <laughs> did I just you send just Mork delete home? delete Mork. Oh, which is bittersweet. You have... She lost her research. Did I just send him home? Of another no dimension. All, all you have is this little gear. Oh, uh, um, can I cast identify on the little gear? I'll have to originally uh, cast. I don't have it prepared. Yes. Yeah. It takes you guys a bit of time and the rest of you kind of get settled or watch in amusement slash horror as Nico tries to get back Mork. Uh, 
It doesn't identify as a specific magical item, but it does identify as containing a creature. Hmm. I have to spend more time with this. Hmm. I'm just gonna pick it up and just trondle away from the group in thought to my room without really saying anything. Oh, and Nico, are get you to work. okay? Okay, all right. I think she's okay. <laughs> Get to work. Uh, with that, we are going to go to a super quick break, uh, just uh, five, ten minutes here, uh, just to recharge our batteries. Um, and then we're going to come back to session 49 of The Lost and Found. We'll see you in a bit, guys. Don't touch that dial. Don't we'll find that. out. I feel like some of you have been touching that dials. What is that face? There's clowns on the other end. They're so clowny. How's everyone? Just a bunch anyone of got some good snacks? Anyone got some good snacks? I'm a clown. I don't. I need a hot chocolate. Store. I need to go to the grocery store. store. I literally have no food. I'm just kidding. I do have food, but. <laughs> Eating I'm starving. For... <laughs> in three weeks, guys. <laughs> You've been stuck You've been in this room hotel for, how long? for a long time, yeah. <laughs> we tried to get a pizza delivery guy to help us unlock the door, but. They just dropped off the food when we realized we didn't. They realized you could we didn't smell it through the door, but you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, <do> it. <laughs> so it's just, just a rotting pizza. Yeah, like Nick, you. I saw Nick and he was floating towards it because the the, the smell was beckoning him. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> and he was just right. floating. He was so hungry. <laughs> Bunch of clowns. Kuno. <laughs> mm-hmm. You feel uh, Kelsey kind of like urging you like you know the the blade is not drawn right now right you have it like disapparated mm -hmm. you can feel it as if it was in a holster on your side kind of like pulling you into uh, uh your room where you have some privacy yeah, yeah just give me a second give me a second I'm kind of like well uh no one's no one's following him right like no one's I think the majority of the group is watching Nico struggle with the Mork situation. Um, this is kind of happening at the same time. Perfect distraction. <laughs> and Kuno will then summon Kelsey. Sorry, I put chocolate in my mouth as soon as you said that. <laughs> um, Kelsey's eating chocolate. Yeah, he's like, give me a second. You smarties are real good. Um. Oh no way, sure. <laughs> They're in the spiritual <laughs> realm. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's what Soren would said. That's fucked up. Oh, cool though. I can't give them to uh, only clerics of Katara can have these. <laughs> oh, okay. Sacred wafers of Katara is just chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we got three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> so stupid, <laughs> so good. Um, you do you head to your room and uh, yeah, unsheath the weapon? Okay, yeah. Um, you know, you've heard. Uh, the way Kelsey kind of talked to you, mostly in like these frantically gasping breaths as if it's like actively fighting against some force to even be able to communicate you. You hear for the first time, uh, oh, I guess the second time, the first time being an hour or so ago in the markets. That man that was with my brother, the big one. Um, what is he? He's a Grand Marshal. Is he bad? Is he dangerous? Yes, too dangerous. He's important. So getting a conversation with him is difficult, let alone I worry that if I were to mention you, I don't know what is stopping him from simply him taking you from me. need to talk to my said, brother. I need to be close enough to talk to him. Is there anything you or your friends can do to make that happen? 
I haven't sensed any of my kind in so, so long. Are you, was there another entity in the sword? Is it just you? Is it a different... Is it unlike you? What? It is, it is, it is like me. It is, it is different. It is, it is my kin. The, the blade, the blade is but a... This, this form, and, and she does what she did with you the other day where she was turning in and, like, possessing other objects. She turns into, like, a, uh, um, like a, like a large knife, like, like, just a very simple, large, like, cutting knife. The, the form is, is but an idea, is but, a, but a vessel for which my power can exist on the material plane. My brother is asleep. He couldn't hear me singing him awake, but he's there. It's not me. It is. It is. It is another entity. It is my kin. And you're sure that is ever in the weapon? They weren't singing. My brother was asleep. I have many siblings, but most are dead. Most were killed. But there are a few of us who I have had faith all this time that we're only sleeping and I felt his breath. He's not dead, but he is unwhole, like me, but weaker still. I think if he were to hear my voice, I could wake him. How close would you need to be? Well, best case scenario would be touching, but I think part of the problem was the noise. The sound is less the problem. You definitely could hear me from that distance, but my kind pick up not on thoughts and individual ideas, but on the pairing of the groupings of activities of, of sense. And there was so much joy and so much elation today. It was too noisy. And that one, the reason why I ask if he is evil or bad is he was very prideful. I plan to go to a council meeting with the others, and that marshal may be there. If I can get close enough to have a conversation with him for just a moment, is that enough time for you to speak to your kitten? It's enough time to try. But I don't want to hurt you or your f for friends. It would be better if this person knew what was happening or at the very least trusted you you think they would not hurt you if they knew I don't know I don't know who this person is they don't remind me of the old ones but they carry similar banners and I wonder if it's happening again, if they've come back to finish off what's left of me and my kid. But there's still hope. You are reminding me of things that I knew, not memories, but ideas, concepts, beliefs. I remember the oath power anyways but something stronger than gods than anything the raw idea of nobility of doing the noble thing that is a true oath that oath has no master and I remember Where, how old is this oath? 
as old as the concept of good and evil. There has always been and always will be a force that says no to those who wish to put out the light. The words of the oath and the ideas behind it may have changed, but the message was the same. We will not disappear. We will not stand idly by and wait for destruction in our midst. I almost remember all the words. Do you think this Grand Marshal would know this oath? The oath can only be sworn between spirit and master. In this case, my brother is asleep. He is not able to offer that oath, but I am close to being strong enough to author, offer such an oath to you, Kuno. What would that entail? Would you not be able to become whole if you were to swore an oath? Quite the opposite. My kind are not creatures the same way a deer or a horse might be. We are the interpretations, the manifestations even, of what is right and being bound to a creature promised to do good would only strengthen both our bond and my power. Our power, even. But from what I understand of this world, no matter how hard you try, you cannot serve two masters. Are you implying that you have another master? I'm implying that you do. Scarlet Witch. What are you suggesting? I am not suggesting anything. I can't force one to swear an oath. And I am not ready to offer that oath, but... A day will come when I am, and you will get to choose between serving someone else's ideas or your own. I won't hear it. The blade kind of darkens. Kind of like... Um... Yeah, Kuno just like sits there frustrated. Um, and he'll just lay in his bed and scheme and think. As you're thinking and laying in your bed, you on the on the whispers of your vision, on the on the edge of your hearing, you hear a soft, sad song being sung over and over again. Not loud enough to be noticed, but loud enough to imply disappointment, frustration, sorrow. What's the rest of the party up to? Um, I think after once like a little bit after Mark settled. Um, sorry. I would have uh, probably left to uh, pulled Aqua. I was leaving to go to because uh, Nico went into the fucking back room uh, or her room to get figured more of this shit out. So I think he would have uh, pulled Aqua if she would like to come, but he's going to go to uh, what is her name? Star. The Chronicle Lady. Shit. I, Historia. You know. Historia. 
Are you are you going because of the the veins? Yes, and I think yes. I, okay, yeah, I'll 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 come. I'll come along. Do you, I was gonna uh, yeah, and I figured you could come along since we don't know if your back is cure curse free yet. Or if you or unless you multiplied it, I never thought of that. Uh, well. I could give you a a a sing a sign. I wonder if if because blood is constantly um. Never mind. You wouldn't. It would take too much to explain it to you. Yeah, I I know where you're going with this. I don't think it was. I, I think I would have just nodded and said yes, but I, I don't know if I would have fully understood. Yeah. Um. But unless you want to talk about it, I'll, I'll listen. No, it was just me thinking out loud. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if yeah, we are going to uh, yeah, the uh, Astoria. Be right. <laughs> yeah, Nika was gonna be our third, but I'm not gonna. I'm busy now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, Sword's like, well, she made the big deal about not being invited, so I'm not gonna. Now she. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, she uninvited herself, so I'm not gonna. This seems more pressing for her. And I would have told N Nile about about Garen, um, as well. Um. The Lore Vault Repository. The newspaper in my t my town is called the Repository City. Wait, so. isn't that longer? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you said you <laughs> shortened it to the Lore Vault Repository. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too for a second. I was like, what? wait a minute. <laughs> no, that's the that's just funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, Nico's like the jocks of nerd.
the old. Um, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> it's like, so we're just standing there like... Anything on curses? Um, well, it My wasn't. Back. It came from her back, which came from a hag. What was her... Okay. This must be really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> um, he like looks up. No. I mean, I don't, sorry, not we, sorry, sorry. I don't know. Um, I, how do I, how, how do I explain this? Uh, it, okay. We do not. Uh, okay, well, someone made a deal with this hag and put it on me, this curse, and then, and then, um, Her mother? Uh, they're my mom. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll keep going. If, and then when if there's a question, ask. Uh, she. Uh, I guess it, it's whenever I'm away from home for too long. Um, my back starts to rot some more, and then um, it looked like. I don't know, we didn't look. I mean, was it rotting when I saw it? Oh, well, uh, and like, I, and I'll just tell her literally anything that I know. Um, Do we know her name? We know her name's Morgan, right? Mm. And she lives on uh, the sands of hell? What? Or wait. What this might be. 
Yeah, it says Morgan lives on the sands of hell. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I need more context than this. I was like, wait, who does? What? Yeah. Okay, yeah, never mind then. Uh, I was going to say, I don't even think we know the name of the hag. No, this I, just... is with, I have Morgan with Mortalith, because that's when we figured out when... Because he told us a lot more. He told us a lot about the hag. It. Yeah, we have at least her name. We don't have where she lives. I missed that part. I think I was just freaking out. <laughs> So, I was curious if I could oh, break. Oh, as he's explaining, I'll show the back. Yeah, I was curious if I could break the curse, um, remove it, so to speak. And I tried it, and this is what happened. So. So now he's glowing blue, but I still have the ruins. But we... Um, in my mom's tummy. I... Well, the fact that my mom told me someone else did this to me, I'm not really too sure now. Uh, but could I kind of describe... Wait, no, it was Amon that saw the vision, right? Okay, never mind. If you're going to be long, gone for like a, a long time, then yeah, tea. But if you're going to be back in like five minutes, you're fine. Oh, she's going to be gone for a while. <laughs> Laser beam just erases us. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're getting deleted. Tried. Uh, Jesus. You know, he's just kind of doing nothing.
19. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> the duality of man. Uh, is it is it is it dark out right now? Mm. Okay, Amon is a bat. <laughs> Amon is a. I'm I'm on the top of Moss's head. Nice. Why do you insist? This is I. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, maybe. I can't. I can't do high enough pitch to. to you get a lot of pelicans yeah. in a landlocked mm. uh, province, don't mm. you? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's my number, Chief. Oh, plus six. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> mm hmm. Flipping through the file cabinet. Death was a foreign concept until a few months ago. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was just a thing. Exactly, it didn't have any much significance. <laughs> Does anyone hear that music? Some sort of war game going on, man. Oh, Reginald, you've made it past Mark, or wait, no, Mark's gone. <laughs> oh, good. What is the construction for?
You're you're kidding. Really? That's delightful looking over is Kuno here or is Kuno done? Kuno's in his room. Okay. I thought I thought so. I, I was just like looking over towards Kuno's room like how interesting. How convenient. <laughs> Inconvenient. Is magic welcome in the arena? And what do you need to win, like, everything? Right. Reginald, would you be able to put us down for this? Um... Amon is... Amon is flapping his wigs and, like, squeaking like crazy. <laughs> No, it's not a pet. He's turned into a bloody bat, and I'm getting sick of it. Get off I'm my head! I'm just gonna like pick pick him up, <laughs> reaching up, and just like, okay, just come here. You just <laughs> Amon just latches onto your pinky finger and drops to like hang upside down. You're having too much fun with this. He just right. squeaks. Anyways, despite the bat, besides the bat, uh. Moss will look around. Who can they see within, like, I just within view? Is anybody else on this floor of the building? Yeah. <laughs> right. Moss is just watching the whole time. Hmm. I reckon safe bet. Uh, can individuals withdraw? Say if we put our, all, all of us down for now and then a few of us don't want to go. Oh, you know what? Better yet, just put down the name The Lost and Found and let them figure out how many of us there are later. Thank you. And Moss will just go teeter-totter over to Kuno's door. Kuno! Kuno? <laughs> Did you say my yes. name? Kuno? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah? Um, I have good news. Uh, yeah, it kind of like come, comes over and like... It opens the door. What? what? I've entered us into a gladiatorial arena, the winning which would grant us an audience with the Grand Marshal. <laughs> Your sword starts singing very loud. <laughs> uh, you know, summons Kelsey and just like throws it. <gasps> He's like, I'm tired of you, Kelsey. Uh, roll, 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 a, roll an attack, please. Holy shit. It just goes flying out the building through all the walls. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> it, it cuts through like some of the glass and it doesn't get embedded. It one. just. <laughs> just just stab throw it at Moss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Uh, <laughs> you guys are together. One, two, three. I'm going to roll D4 here. Oh it god. Goes all the way to, oh, it goes all the way to the lore vault. Poor Niles just gonna get nailed. <laughs> Kills, Kills the Grand Marshal. Kills the Grand Marshal. <laughs> uh, like Nico. I was just doesn't lose the loss. What are you doing in your room right now? Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm starting to, um, like kind of make a nice little platform, like a summoning circle. So I'm gonna hear that noise of those hammers outside and I'm gonna be like hammering metal. Like to the same rhythm. 
Are um, you like sitting down in a chair? Are you standing over a work I'm like place? I'm like standing over a work table. Singing opera. <laughs> All right. Um, you're working calmly and you've heard suddenly like the singing picks up from Kuno's room and you kind of roll your eyes like we got to figure out what the hell's going on with that. And as you're thinking that the singing starts getting louder and louder as I go, oh, and it goes over <laughs> your head and cuts through the top of the kiln and the workstation and the tray that is holding up like the lamp light you're using and all of it comes crashing down and it just goes through the wall and keeps going what was that can Kuno well, that's happening it back then? at Kuno and the uh, can Kuno Amon, see that it just keeps going can Kuno just unsummon it yeah after like five seconds you're like ah shit and you unsummon ah, it <laughs> uh Having some trouble with kerosene? Uh, I think we both had a different idea of this arrangement. Oh? Do you wish to talk about it? Mm. it sounds complicated. I think I need to ponder on it longer. All right. Well, you know where to find me if you need anyone to talk to. Yes, but when is this tournament? I have to start training. Oh, actually, I have no idea. I didn't get that far. I signed us up without asking many questions. <laughs> uh, I've done that plenty of times. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I it's figured, tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's tomorrow morning. Not actually, but no. Oh. <laughs> Not Reggie, actually, Reggie but... was just fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, Reggie, uh, Reggie, are you still here? No, he Amon is currently. Like, Amon, oh, I was gonna say if he's still there, Amon is currently like flying around. His head. No, no. I'm still he... attached to my pinky finger. <laughs> yeah, he left very briefly or very right, quickly. Well, we'll have to find out in the morning from Reggie. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Nico. Um, <laughs> I think I can yeah, see him through the small clock. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, Nico. <laughs> I'm breaking my walls and I'm mending. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> Mends the whole shut as they're looking through it. Yeah, you have to make, just like making eye contact with Kuno the whole time. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on I'm on does, I'm on oh. does drop from Miles' hand though and goes and like lands on Kuno's shoulder. Kuno swats at you. <laughs> That's Amon. Kuno's on edge right now. Kuno is so like, on edge, dude. <laughs> pulls out Kelsey. Like, <laughs> squeaks at you and then flies back. Lands on it and lands on Niall's head. Just like, just like mean mugging Kuno. <laughs> I won't end up like a vampire like Amon. <laughs> <laughs> Amon just like bears his his fruit bat fangs, like, like jokingly, like kissing. Yeah, like... <laughs> um, as you go over to make amends with Nico, um, and everyone kind of calms down for a second, uh, that is where we're gonna end tonight's session. We will pick up on session fifty next week uh, to figure out what uh, is going on with this curse. Uh, if the Lord, the Lord Vault has anything. Um, We're gonna find out about a curse. We're gonna play blood sports. You are gonna play Hell some blood yeah. sports. Oh, Kuno's been yes. dying to play blood sports. Oh, yeah. Clarification. Oh. Yes, Aku. Yeah. It, is, it is midday of the 13th, correct? It, it is like very late evening. It was midday late when the evening. session started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, the, yeah. Uh, I'm. Yeah, it'll be the 14th next session after your guys' interaction with the story. You guys will come back, go to bed, and then it'll be the 14th. We'll go from there. So this whole session took place roughly in the four or five hour period that we played for. Um, we'll be back <laughs> next, next Monday. Uh, what is that? April? April Yo, Fools we play Day. on April Fools! You, April 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 Fools. Fools. you will receive more Batman content next <laughs> Monday. Guaranteed. <Boom>. In. <laughs> I'll see you guys. We'll be coming crime fighting vigilante.
<laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> I'm vengeance. I call being your Robin. <laughs> Someone just punches me and I just go down instantly because I only have like DL. Well, they see. All right, hooligans. It's really, and off to like a mind. It's like, <laughs> just like. <laughs> see you guys <laughs> next week, you goofy goobers. Bye bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye bye now, y'all. Bye bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, my sight. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Having witnessed the conversation Kuno had with the spirit inhabiting the blade of Kelsine, Katara closed her vision on the situation, leaned back in a chair made of starlight. She smirked to herself. She looked over at her companion. He has more metal than I thought. Perhaps more than one Delinar child can help us. Check in with the mistress. I want to know if the other one's ready. <laughs>